Blue tap. I'm gonna turn my mic up a little bit, okay? I promise there won't be any screaming today. Oh boy. I'm sorry I'm so late, everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so late. That Adia with the care package. Thank you, Adia. She was late because she was busy doubting herself. <laughs> Maybe a little. I also wanted to check on the the puppies. Mama's stressed. We're all stressed. Is that Camp Boy? How are you, Camp Boy? How are you? you? I miss seeing you. I hope you're doing okay. Oh, I forgot something. So my alerts and my throws are going to be muted. No throws today, no alerts today, okay? I'm gonna get people come in here, try to throw stuff at me. How are we today, Jan? Are we doing okay? I feel like it's one thing after the other for me. I'm going to try not to eat my microphone at the same time as eating my vitamins. All the throwers are so hurt right now. I know. They just have to go and throw stuff at me. They can't just be patient for one day. <laughs> so, for today, I'm going to try to do what I did um, last week. So I'll do... Some sounds. I'm still like learning my way through this. Not learning my way through the ASMR. I don't know, I get like nervous. I don't know, I feel like I'm not doing enough for you guys. Or maybe I could do better, do something different. <laughs> um, but I hope that you you enjoy it. Carry me in Final Fantasy fourteen. I noticed you were playing Final Fantasy fourteen. How is that going? AJ, I said the throws are disabled. In my title. 
What the hell did you ping me for in NSFW? Well, I was gonna put it in memes. I thought about putting it in memes, but I was like, maybe I should just put it in NSFW. What do you mean I ignore you? When did I ignore you? Then you don't let me throw shit at you? That sounds so violent. That sounds so incredibly violent. You tagged me in a video? Oh, I, I had already seen that though. I should, I should have said something. I was, I was so frantic today. I was so frantic today. You got to be in nine pulls, and then I didn't do anything and closed the game. I'm so upset with you right now. I had to do like 90 pulls yesterday just to get to UB. I was very upset. Congrats on getting 2B though, AJ and Soku. 2B really held out on me. But I want to hear from you again, AJ. Don't leave. Stay with us. And time with us. Hello, Drew. How are you? Oh, yeah. Nice to know, Iris. I'm looking forward to it. Welcome back. So I was, um, researching a lot of, um, scripts for today. I'm adjusting the command, the Google Doc, and the command as I go, just just so that I can give credit to the people that I use the scripts from. I feel bad I didn't think of it last week. We'll be doing I am Lost Ark tomorrow though, Iris. We can do all all of it. I gotta get a lot done. This week. A lot of stuff. Hmm. I'm gonna close this. Okay, I think I've edited it for the most part. Um, let's see, do I have a, a nice and easy script I can do to start off with? So what I'm going to do is, like I did last week, um, we'll be, I'll be reading the scripts, but I won't 
interact with chat until I'm done, okay? Just to keep the story going, you know? But I will give you a synopsis. Let's see. Hmm. Which one shall I do first? I found this this one writer. They do a lot of scripts. A lot of them. So I've been going through a lot of their scripts. Let's do this one. What's my favorite number? Eight. The number eight is my favorite. And then 77. Welcome back, Belly. And hello, Marcy. Hey, Marcy. The lovely little bun bun. <gasps> belly the belly thank you so much belly thank you for the pds the pds for the pd committee <laughs> i'm sorry ATTS is off right now but I could, I could, um, repeat it tomorrow so that I can hear it on stream. I'm sorry, Belly. But I keep, I keep the alerts off. Because they might, you know, be a little loud. <laughs> Thank you, Belly. Thank you so much for the biddies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I promise I will I will redo it for you. Just just remind me. <laughs> Enjoy your food, Belly. All the queens are here. And kings, we can't forget the kings. Because you are King Drew. The eights will go on for 89 years. I kind of want to hear it now. I want to hear the, the eights now. <laughs> You're the king with all the queens right now, Drew. Hey, more queens for you, right? Hmm. Oh, I know. You know what I forgot? I forgot something. I have to look at the part. Zeno's <sighs> still sick. What happened? Don't tell me it's the big baddie. I 
I hate how my glasses get don't work on my model. Dad, they don't work on my model. I really can't stand glasses. I'm trying to put glasses on my model. I'll just have really big glasses. Okay, I guess that's okay. Backstreet Boys Reunion Torah. Wait. Backstreet Boys are coming? Where? Where? Didn't they try to come back though? Like Backstreet Boys and... What was the other one? New Kids on the Block or something? Kira. Hello, Kira. Come back, Kira. Wait, what? BBRT is just code for the COVID? What? I've never heard of this before. Oh, a game Grums reference. I see. Let us do, let us do a story chat. You were playing League, you got DJ Sona, fired Sona and played her two times. <gasps> Good job, Kira. <laughs> So for this script, this one is about a librarian and you as the listener, you run into the sexy librarian. <laughs> Um, on the way home, on the train. So I am the librarian, and I run into you on the way home, or the way to work, I don't remember. Either way, it doesn't matter. I am doing okay, Kira. Just about to start one of our scripts. Um, just one more reminder, I won't interact until I finish the script, okay? So I won't interact with chat until I'm done. So let us do this. <gasps> I don't ignore you. These are lies. Hello, Dodge. Okay. I will begin, everyone. Oh, 
Oh, I just made it. Jeez, I wish I had a car. <clears throat> Lugging a big bag of books to work every Monday is such a pain. <sighs> Crap, I gotta get in on time, of course. And all the seats are taken. My back is gonna be killing me tomorrow. Hmm? Me? I can have your seat? No, that's... <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, young man. That's really sweet of you. <sighs> that's better. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, don't say that. Helping a lady out isn't nothing. Far from it. I'm glad to know there's still boys out there who know how to treat a woman. Aw, no need to get all flustered. <laughs> look at you. You can't even look me in the eye. How adorable. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were in the middle of reading a book. How rude of me. It's not that good anyway. Can I ask what it's called? Oh, that one. I've heard of it. It's really a shame that the author put out such an underwhelming sequel when the first book did so well. If you're into that genre, though, I would recommend the Dune series by Frank Herbert or something by Isaac Asimov or Ray Bradbury or The Handmaid's Tale. That one's my favorite. Oh, or, uh, s sorry. <laughs> I got a little carried away. Sorry, I just, I really love books. <laughs> you should jot down those titles, though. They're classics. You've already read them? Really? Wow, you're a real bookworm. I wouldn't have thought so by looking at you. What do you mean? What do I mean? Um, well, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. You just... You seem like the type of boy who might spend his time at the mall. Picking up girls. <laughs> rather than with, his, with a nose in his book. That's all. Really? Well, allow me to apologize for misjudging you. I wasn't expecting to meet such an eccentric young man today. <laughs> Next stop, downtown station. Next stop, downtown station. Oh, that's me. Ugh. Back to carrying these books again. But hey, it was a pleasure talking to you, cutie. Maybe I'll catch you again sometime on this route. Oh, this is your stop too? <laughs> well, lucky me then. Hmm? Oh no, I can't let you carry this. I don't know if you offered me your seat. Are you sure? <sighs> Thank you, sweetheart. You're a lifesaver. There you go. If it gets too heavy, you can always just give it back to me. Oh, who am I kidding? You'll be fine with those arms. <laughs> Blushing again. Goodness. 
I didn't know any better. I'd think you'd have a thing for women like me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just like teasing. If anything, it's me who has a thing for boys like you. <sighs> I'm not carrying that bag anymore, but my feet are still killing me. I really shouldn't have worn heels today. What? You want to look down? <laughs> no, no, I don't mind. I don't wear clothes like this for people not to see me. Hmm? Oh, no occasion. I dress like this usually. It's for work. Where? At the downtown library. That's where I'm headed right now. I'm the librarian there. That bag you're carrying is our new additions. Oh, you're headed there too. What for? Wait. A job interview? Does that mean you're the new intern? <laughs> wow, what a coincidence. I got the notice we're getting a new staff just yesterday. I heard something about them being in high school or college aged, but I didn't expect to run into you on the way here. Ugh, I'm actually relieved you're the one I'm going to be working with. I was pretty unsure about the idea of a younger employee, but judging from your interest in books, I'd say you're more than qualified. <laughs> Why even hold an interview? Oh, yes, that's right. Your position is my assistant. Don't worry, it's not too hard. I'd be delighted to show you the ropes when we get there. <gasps> Excellent. I can already tell I'm going to enjoy having you around. It can get a bit dull and lonely sometimes. I mean, it is a library after all, but we should be fine as long as we aren't too loud. I hope you don't mind chatting with me a little. <laughs> oh yes, yes, of course I'll give you adequate time to read and get to your own work done as well. Just don't leave poor old me without your company for too long. <laughs> How'd I become head librarian? Well, believe it or not, I was an intern there just like you not too long ago. I'd always loved books, and it seemed like a mellow part-time job for me in college. By the time I graduated, I'd become so good at it that I just decided to stay. <laughs> well, look at you, smooth talker. <laughs> You're right. Being a librarian does require quite a bit of education. I wouldn't say it myself, but if you say I'm smart, then I won't refuse the compliment. <laughs> How about you? I assume you applied for the internship for the same reason as me? <laughs> I thought so. If I can return the compliment, you must be pretty smart yourself. <gasps> hey, that's not fair. I accepted yours. Shouldn't you accept mine? <laughs> Good boy. Oh, wow. That really made you go quiet, didn't it?
Looks like I found your weakness. Are. Sorry, Tat. Somebody's trying to blow up the neighborhood. Looks like I found your weakness. Alright, alright. I'm still just teasing. It's fun seeing you get all starstruck. Oh. Well, you're off the hook for a bit. Look where we are. Yep, this is it. Come on. I'll give you a little toy. <clears throat> okay. To the left is the adult section. The right is the kits. Straight down is the door to the staff's offices. And a bit past that is the cafe. They have these amazing vegan oatmeal cookies. I'll have to treat you to one sometime. Let's head to my desk. Yours will be right next to it. Here it is. Uh, uh, ignore the clutter. There's just too many books and papers and... <sighs> I'm too lazy to deal with it. You can do whatever you want with your desk, though. <laughs> yep, that's the one. You're right next to me, so if you need anything, just ask. If I'm not... Too busy napping, that is. <laughs> oh, right. About your work. You'll mostly be dealing with helping people find books and check them out. It's pretty simple. We might be called to sort out shelves and things like the latter, but... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Oh, yeah. And if you ever happen upon people returning their books late or making noise, um, make sure to report them to me. I'll make sure they're dealt with properly. Okay. Thanks. Scary. <laughs> if you say so. I just don't care a lot about this library. I care a lot about this library. It's like my baby. So just be a good boy and do as I say and you'll be just fine. Otherwise, I might have to give you a little punishment to keep you in line. You don't want that, now do you? <laughs> there you go again. God, I'm so mean. But you're just so easy. <clears throat> well... Have a seat then, and if you see someone who looks like they might need help, just go and ask them. Oh? Who? Oh, her? The girl there in the fantasy section? 
pretty one, nice hair, glasses. Um, are you sure? I mean, I guess she looks like she might need some help. I am, but how about I handle it? You can just watch and see how it's done. I'm not acting. Jealous? Oh, come on. Don't be silly. <sighs> I thought I was the one who teases here. <sighs> Alright. Fine. Go ahead. Chat up your little crush then, pretty boy. Just don't leave me along for too long. I'll be waiting for you. It's <laughs> finito, chat. That is the end. Okay. I am here for Kate X Loki. I'm I'm going backwards in chat, okay? I'm here for Kate X Fox. Jesus Christ. Al Sorin. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you liked my voice. I hope you did. Welcome, Al Sorin. Welcome, Ah the Bulb. Welcome, welcome. It would be cool if you add those robotic station announcements to your scripts, like those other ASMR would set the suspense on, where they go in this into the setting. You think I should add a robotic voice? I'd think about it. I had bad memories when visiting our local public library. Oh, someone stole your bike. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that, Otaku. That's so dumb. Hi, my chicken. How are you, my precious moose? Why do you ignore me, my dear elephant? Nino, how many different things did you call me? Hello, Mommy Enjoyer. Welcome back. Yes, I apologize for not interacting with chat, but in order to keep the script momentum going, I prefer to read the whole script, and then I'll interact with chat, okay? That's why I have the text up. I have the text up here. During my scripts, I'll have minimal chat interaction. But I promise to scroll back up and catch up. It's just I'm... It's easier for me. Okay, that's all. It just makes it easier for me. Vegan oatmeal cookies? I mean, oatmeal is already vegan. <laughs> well, technically, I was your boss, the listener's boss. You called me a raccoon, Etchy. Hello. I want to be dealt with by cat. You want to be dealt with by me? Do you want to be stepped on? Missed. I apologize for the, um, the loud popping noises. Sometimes people set off, like, fireworks randomly. 
it hasn't happened in a while, so I wasn't expecting it to happen. But it kind of happened at, like, the worst moment, so I'm sorry, chat. I'm leaving, but I'm leaving, but do you know that I'm going with a broken soul? You broke my heart. You're the baddest VTuber in the universe. Ah, <gasps> do you? Hello, Edgy. I just, I can't say hello until I'm finished. Otherwise, it'll break the immersion. And we can't have that. I want to keep the flow going with the scripts. So please understand. When I put the text up, at the top of the stream, that means that I'm going to be reading, okay? So once I put that text up, I won't be interacting with, with chat as much, okay? Odd bulb. Odd bulb, welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Wolf Family Bulba. At the Bulba. <laughs> I'm still learning my way through ASMR, so we're going on this journey together, chat. I'm, um, I'm still like a little nervous when I do it, so bear with me a little bit. Okay. I love those glasses, they're adorable, aren't they? <laughs> I'm glad you like them, Clark. I think they're very cute. It is okay. Edgy. So I was curious if you all could tell me what are some ASMR triggers you like? Cat's Adora Bubble. I like that. Adora Bubble. I want to be an Adora Bubble. Tranquila, Edgy, tranquila. Tranquila, tranquila. Hello, Edgy. I'm not, I'm not bullying Chad, Iris. I was just reading a script, so I couldn't interact with people who came right away, at least. Can you read the transcript of Redo of Healer? No, I'm not going to read the transcript of Redo of Healer. <laughs> I know some of you said you like the tapping noises too. You like the tapping noises, Mist? Scratching. Hmm. Trying to think of how I could do scratching. Sir Vijay, there is no more to read. There's no more Kadex Loki to read.
breathing sounds and mouth sounds. I like that sound. much for the prime the wonderful amazon prime subby <laughs> thank you thank you so much i hope you enjoy your cute little sub badge and all of my lovely emotes i hope you like my emotes they're very cute <laughs> can't make that sound. Oh, you can't. How do I make the sound? It's hard to describe. Oh. Well, you have to make Make sure your lips are wet. I don't know, it's really hard to describe mist. I'm trying to think how I could um do that teach you how to do that sound. It's okay, Echi. I can only partially translate what you wrote, Echi. My, my Espanol is poquito. Okay. I'm still learning Spanish. It's a very comfy stream. I'm happy to hear that bulb. I do hope that you enjoy the ASMR. I want to do some sounds for you guys, but I have to get my, my item. I'm missing one. Where did I put it? Peeling an orange is an underrated trigger. Peeling an orange. I feel like I know the sound. Oh my gosh. It's like Does anyone remember ever seeing, I don't know if this is like the same sound, but you know a, a large paper cutter where you would put the paper on the cutter, slide it over, and bring the slicer down on the paper cutter so it would like cut the paper in half, right? It sounds like paper. I don't know how to describe it. When I think of orange peel, I think of paper cutting. <laughs> Something like that. I'd have to listen to the sound acer in, see if I can replicate it somehow. I just wanted to get an idea of what types of sounds you guys liked to see if I can replicate it. If you... I pay attention to everyone equally, Echi. Am I a witch? I'm a witch? The 
A popping sound, what's that for? I thought it was a nice sound, Dodge. <laughs> Edgy, you have to understand that I'm trying to talk to everyone. Please understand that. If you keep going like this, I will have to mute you. So please understand that I am trying to pay attention to everyone, as well as you. Okay? Do I understand adios para siempre? Goodbye forever. No adios para siempre. No goodbye forever. A paper guillotine. Let's see. You thought the popping sound was for a specific part in the script? Not particularly. Yes, Edgy, it's supposed to be relaxing here. I gave you your warning, Echi, so please understand. Just relax. And just enjoy the time with everyone. Yeah. I'm trying to catch up with chat, but I want to make sure that I, I read as many comments as I can. I don't want to miss anything, but when I'm reading the script, I will be focusing on that. Tapping noises and scratching noises. Ah, it's a good sound. Edgy. Please use English. Okay. I'm not using Spanish right now. Hello from Sweden. Hello, Error. Hello. Welcome, welcome, Error. I was just about to do some sounds for you guys. I just have to get one more item from behind me. English or duck, please. You prefer to speak goose? How does goose sound? All I can think of are those scary geese that like to chase people. They like to chase people. <laughs> Has anyone ever been chased by a goose before? I was. They scary. They so scary. <laughs> <laughs> it 
English is good for you error. I hope, I hope English works for you. I do try to speak Spanish sometimes because I have a redeem for it, but I prefer to keep my streams in English as much as possible. So could you check your DMs for me? Those keys are annoying in real life. I've always seen them barge in my house or near your house. <laughs> they scary. Only English or you don't understand Spanish? Okay. I do try to keep it in English. Like 95% of the time. Adore bubbly. I must sleep. <laughs> Have a good night, Mist. Thank you for spending time with us. <sighs> you know. This is your last warning, okay? You've been so good since you've come to my channel until today. You're not new to my channel, but if you continue, I will have to ban you. So please, please, just enjoy it. Relax, it's okay. I will do some sounds, okay? Hello, light though. Thank you for the head pads, Kira. Tata. <laughs> I know. Throws are disabled. <laughs> My throws are disabled, light I need to say something. You're cute, the cutest person ever in the world. <laughs> Don't listen to people that think otherwise about you and be yourself. You're beautiful just the way you are. Stay safe. Love you. Aw, Error. So sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Error. I will keep trying my best to do what I can. Give me one moment, chat. I will be right back. I need to grab two items, okay? One minute.
I am back. Sorry about that, Dad. Nino's been to my chat before, but... I don't know. I asked. I gave multiple warnings, but... Uh, I don't know. When is she going to come back? I don't see her. Quick guys, pretend like you don't see her. Belly. You can see me right Dad. I'm not invisible. I'm not invisible, right? I only see it. Let me be a wolf, okay? Just let me be a wolf. I'm gonna try some sounds for you guys right now. So hopefully my mic is not going to mess up. I'm gonna turn it down slightly, okay? I changed my mic. So it should be different different sides now. It's not that speaking in another language bothers me if they do it like once in a while. But I asked specifically and they chose not to, so not to listen to me. This is weird. Is it weird? You don't like it. <laughs> is it? Isn't it cool? <laughs> what is? What's a color? a kalimba clerk all right i'm going to turn my i'm going to turn my filters off i think it's okay if we're joking around and do it once in a while but if you're consistently speaking in another language, it kind of sucks for a child who doesn't understand. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. But I asked, please speak in English. Are you hearing it through left and right ears, child? Are you hearing it through both? Like over here.
Phasmophobia stream. Do you like that sound, though? Do you like the... the tapping? <laughs> no, we don't like it. Remember this one? It's fine if people talk one time. When I talk several times, it gets on my nerves. And specifically when I say please English or Swedish. And they don't listen, it makes me sad or mad. Mm. I can understand that. More biddies for the pity committee. Thank you for the ten biddies, Bulba. <laughs> Enjoy your black belly. What are the sounds? So, the sounds that I'm using are, <laughs> I'm using, I have, um, like, energy stones, they give, um, they're supposed to give off, like, positive energy to you and your body, so I was using those to make sounds. Um, time to learn for a bit. Gotta do well, Tan and Vikas. Good luck, Iris. Good luck. So, you, you'll hear the stones. Um, another sound that I had was. I have a, a crystal glass. It's actually a Honkai Impact crystal glass. <laughs> um, and I was tapping on it because I thought the sound was nice. So I wasn't sure if you guys liked the glass, the crystal tapping noise. I wanted to see if it was too much. Thank you so much for the follow. We got another follow here. <laughs> Akame. Akame VL. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Welcome to the Wolf family. Welcome, welcome. You want to hear a story? Sure. I'm about to start a new story, actually. It's not a, it's not a Fuhua crystal glass, by the way. 
It's actually for Mei and Kiana from Hankai. I ordered a box I ordered a box chat um, to cover my mic but it won't be here until next week next week so I apologize for the it sounds like somebody is trying to blow up my house. It's actually not coming from my house. It's coming from somewhere in the neighborhood. So I apologize for that sound. But I will do a story. And hopefully they will stop doing whatever it is that they're doing. And we can enjoy a story. Let's see, which one am I doing next? Do we want to hear a yandere one chat? I have to work on my yandere a little bit. Um, but I found a, a yandere story. It's a little dark. But some of you are interested in dark. So I was thinking of doing dark, a dark story today. <laughs> so you... This one <laughs> This one is about It's called um anaerobic attachment You make tingle streams now I'm trying a little bit more, just a little bit. Um, I, I'm trying to do like ASMR role playing as well. So I read scripts on stream as well as try to do some tingle sounds. But I'm still learning. I'm still learning as I go. Hello, Jale. Welcome back. As a reminder before I start, I won't be able to interact with chat until I finish the script, okay? So I will read the script to its fullest and I will scroll back up in chat to catch up, okay? Before you start, I must call you Stinky. I smell like flowers, sir, okay? I smell like flowers. I would not be surprised if we, the listener in the script, gets drugged and kidnapped by Yandere Varial. From most yandere ASMRs I've heard. Oh yes. The story is called Anaerobic Attachment. I am your kidnapper. I have been watching you from... I've, we've been going to the same gym together and I've been watching you. And one day I decide to take you home with me. So that's why it's called anaerobic attachment. <laughs> Hello, Skullbreaker. Welcome, welcome. We're just about to start a script. 
just know that I won't be able to interact with chat until I am finished, okay? Read a Mario Kart script. <laughs> Which a crude Which accoutrement are we talking about? I might not be old enough. <laughs> Everything is um, safe for work. I don't have any NSFW scripts yet. But I think I'm trying to keep them as tasteful as I can. Welcome back, Bear. Just in time for another script. Hello Cho, welcome to the channel. I'm about to start a script, but I am happy to hear that you are healthy. That is a very good thing. Wait, that's a Jojo reference? Did you just hit me with a Jojo reference? All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Skull. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the wolf family. I'm going to turn my mic up just a little bit. I don't want to miss you guys hearing. <laughs> All right, chat. Let us begin. You're saying I'm 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 already loud war. All right, let me turn it down then. I'll leave it there. I'm just a. I sound so soft to myself that I'm afraid you won't be able to hear me. Okay, I will leave it at that level. Hey, two laps. We gotta really get into it now, chat. We're going red form. <laughs> For the yandere. <clears throat> hey, two laps, leg reps, chest reps, right? Sorry, I'm trying to get fit. I've been keeping track of everyone who looks strong, trying to copy their workouts. Laps, chest reps, then leg reps. Cool. Thanks. Hey. Yeah, all the machines are taken, but you're almost done, right? Could I spot you? Oh. Great job. One more. Nice. Thanks for wrapping up quick. <laughs> St 
stay calm. Eyes on the road. That is a nine millimeter against your skull. Unless you want a hole in your face, you should keep driving. Good boy. Now get on the freeway. There. Now we've got some time to kill. Try anything funny. I'll shoot you and take the wheel myself. Don't talk. Rule number three of kidnapping. Don't ask any questions. You're likely to aggravate your assailant, and if they're armed, like me, that means they're probably volatile. That's still a question. But kudos for reading the subject matter. Rule number two is, don't tell your kidnapper your schedule. Shame you already messed that one up. Mr. Laps, chest, legs. Rule number one is keep your assailant happy. I've got a gun, and I've got you secluded from the rest of society. It's in your best interest to ensure I don't get a reason to kill you. Exit here. Do you have a romantic partner? A girlfriend? Boyfriend? Anything? Good. I don't want to kill anyone I don't have to. Left turn. Any pets at home? A plant, maybe? I'll be sure to go get it. Your key's in your front left pocket, right? Good. Right turn. Any allergies I should worry about? Keep straight. That's great. Now you can park the car right here. I'm glad you didn't lie to me. I've been watching you for a while, so I would have known if you weren't telling the truth. Now turn your head and look at me. Good night, sweetie. Whoops. That might have been a little too hard. <laughs> now to get you inside. Comfortable? I bought the same brand of mattress as you. I'm hoping you'll be able to sleep on it. There's the resurrection struggle. I'd be angry if it wasn't to be expected. Just try to calm down. I don't want you to hurt yourself. The firing pin of my gun was filed down. You were never in any lethal danger. I'm not a serial killer or anything. I... I guess I'm just a little sick. Oh? 
I can't hear you through the gag. You'll have to really enunciate if you want to talk. <laughs> Sorry to say, but that wasn't exactly stable speech. Here, I'll do the talking. I've had a little explainer planned for a while, so just let me do this. <clears throat> Hello? My name is Varial. We've been going to the same gym for two months now. Three weeks. And five days, to be exact. You caught my eye almost immediately, and... I've been watching you ever since. I suffer from... A cognizant condition. To make a long story short, I assign an extreme value to certain relationships. I do not get a say in what my relationships are chosen. I do not get to change them once my mind has made up. My condition... <coughs> my condition has affected my perception of you. I do... <clears throat> I love you. For lack of a better descriptor, I have some medication to keep these feelings in check, but they aren't working. Not against the love that I feel for you, the mere thought of you has consumed my every waking moment. I had to spend more time with you immediately. So I resorted to... Well... Your kidnapping. <laughs> I'm sorry for any inconveniences this causes, but I simply had no choice. So I wrote that about two weeks ago. It's only gotten worse since then, so please don't ask to be let go. Don't try to leave. I may not want to kill you, but I might. If I ever thought you were rejecting me, I may just go off the rails. You understand, right? Understand why I'm doing all of this? I need to hear you say it. So I'll take the gag off now. And for your sake, you should tell me that you love me. Well... I've waited so long to hear those words. It doesn't even feel real. I made us dinner. But I don't exactly trust you enough to let you head down to the dinner table. Would you mind if I feed you? Good boy. I'll be right back. Hello again? <laughs> I wanted you to know you don't have to worry anymore. Now open your mouth. Say ah. Uh. You don't have to worry about life. I guess you might still have to worry about me, but that'll fade soon. Open. 
I'm a lawyer. Turns out being legally psychotic makes you a pretty good liar. Open again? <laughs> I make enough money for us to live comfortably. You don't have to worry about your job anymore, which is probably for the best. I took the liberty of sending various resignations and goodbyes for you. As far as any of your friends are concerned, you woke up one day and finally decided to follow your dreams of backpacking across the entire planet. Open again? I guess what I'm saying is... No one's gonna come looking for you. I'm sorry if that's a little sad, but I don't want you to think at all about it anymore. You're my good boy now, and all I want to do is keep that cute little face smiling. And I want you to tell me how much you love me. Looks like you finished dinner. Want some water? Just hold your head still. I don't want to drown you. There. <laughs> and barely a drop spilled. You look amazing. I've never really gotten to be this close. But I have no idea how I lived without it. Tell me you love me. Again. And again. <laughs> Good boy. I love you too. I love you more than I could ever say. And I hope you'll understand that one day. Do you actually love me, or are you just telling me what I want to hear? Before you answer, remember, I'm unstable, and still holding a steak knife. <sighs> I'm so glad you feel that way, sweetie. May I lay down with you? <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> yes. This feels right. Hearing your heartbeat. Feeling the heat radiate off of you. I've never slept with someone before. I've also never slept with someone before. So I guess you'll be my first on both accounts. Tell me you love me. <laughs> I love you too. What did you think, Dad? I realized as I started it that it might get a little confusing. There's a couple sounds that I just could not replicate. Like, um, sounds of machinery. <laughs> Like, um, weightlifting sounds and stuff. Um, 
But pretty much what happens is you, the listener, gets into your car and she hops into the passenger seat of your car and holds you at gunpoint and tells you where to go. But there was no real way for me to, um, produce that. <laughs> so I tried my best. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Blitz LaRouche. Welcome. Welcome to the channel, Blitz. Welcome to the Wolf family. Welcome to the Wolf family, Blitz. <laughs> I hope you liked the script. Kutarath. Welcome back, Kutarath. I tried to knock on my desk to make like a sound as if your character your character got knocked out. I hope it sounded okay. I don't think I could have hit my head because I think that would have hurt. Thank you for the care package, Aria. <laughs> I'd first tell them I'm hungry and then they would say I love you for food well we know how to uh, the key to war is heart now it's time for the main chorus so cool you loot <laughs> For Yandere, I feel like you should shift the tone of your voice to be a bit more psychotic. Bit more psychotic, okay. For an, for another Yandere run, I will try to do that. That was my first, first time. Like a calm, psychotic vibe. Okay. Oh well. Oh well. Am I reading us the secret fantasy is? Maybe. Maybe. You want to find out, Soku? I mean, it was a nice reading. I could almost feel the rope burns on my wrist. <laughs> I hope you liked it. Omelette Drou Fromage <laughs> Hello Win Link Welcome back Comment allez-vous Hi 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 Welcome Ged Welcome welcome I am doing okay. I am trying out some more different scripts. I like them. I found quite a few good ones for you all. I am doing good though. I'm still learning how to change my voice a little bit so I hope that my voice sounds okay chat
I just needed some water. Is it soothing? Thanks, Blink. I hope so. My lips keep getting dry on me. If anyone has any um, other triggers that they like for ASMR, let me know, okay? I will see if I can reproduce the sounds. Like sounds you like to hear. I'm using a... I only have like a basic mic. Well, I shouldn't say basic. It's a very good mic. But it's not an ASMR mic. It's um a Blue Yeti. Have a good sleep. Get some rest. Sleep well. A wooden box. I could... I can do something. Do I have a wooden box? Hmm. I'll see if I can find one, Claire. I don't know if I have one. Do I have one? If I don't have one, someone in the family might. Do I have a muff or a foam on top? No, I do not. What I want to do is, I got a, a box, like a actual soundproofing box, so that I can like, go around my mic and try to lessen a lot of the background noise. <laughs> Time to steal one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to find some things. Ah! <gasps> Skull! <laughs> Thank you, Skull. You're so sweet. Thank you. Do you think it would help if I had a foam on top of the mic? I thought that, um, having some soundproofing around the mic might help. Hello, Dinah. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. I just love listening to your voice. Oh, Skull, thank you. I'm trying really hard to give you guys a good, good ASMR roleplay stream. If you get foam, rubbing your nails against it, brushes, or a lint roller makes good sounds. I can try to do that. Chat. I will be two minutes, okay? I will be right back.
and I can try to do some sounds. Let's see if I can find something more I can use. Plus, I need more water. <laughs> Two minutes. Don't try, it's easy for you. You have a lovely voice, just be yourself. And you'll feel the perfection. <laughs> Thank you, Skull. I'm trying. You guys are giving me confidence. <gasps> I'm gonna do that war. I will do that. BRB. I am back, Tap. I just took a quick check downstairs. I wanted to check on the babies. The little puppies. But yes, I like the rubbing noise. 
It sounds really nice, or you definitely have a voice for ASMR. It's just so soothing to listen to. <laughs> Thank you, Dodge. That means a lot. I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest for you guys. I never lost hope. I just did other things while I waited. But I am back. Alright. I got a small break before Valtan. Your friend is eating a steak. I want a steak. That sounds good. You're back too. Welcome back. I hope your power stays on. She screeches like a banshee when she runs. <laughs> Okay. I, I, when I play scary games, I do scream. But it's only when I get scared, I'm gonna die. Or when something actually scares me, guys. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner, Daj. Your power does weird hiccups sometimes. That's annoying. I couldn't find a wooden box. I found a cardboard box, but I don't think that has the same effect. But I will try some other sounds. I love to be here. I hope you get good at You have so much good things in your life. And I hope your channel will grow with lots of people who will love to just be with you like me. Greetings from Germany. Stay happy and healthy. Thank you, Skull. Thank you. That means... That means a whole lot. I really, I really hope, I hope you guys know how much I'm trying for all of you. I hope you believe it. I hope you believe it. See how this sounds.
remember this time. Do I know how to make clicking noises? Like that? Purring. Purring is a little hard. I don't know if I can do purring. I'd have to practice. I can feel that you're a good person and a good soul. I know we all have our worries and problems, but you can get through it with us. Please never forget that a lot of people love and appreciate you and are proud of what you do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Skull. Thank you. I'm trying. <laughs> I am trying. We've got a new, a new member of the wolf pack here, Tot. That tropical lad. Welcome. Welcome, lad. Welcome to the wolf family. Welcome, welcome. I'm just mentioning some common triggers I hear. I would like, I would like to do purring. I would like to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can, um, learn how to do it, or maybe I can, and I just, I never, I never tried. I tried just rubbing my fingers. I have. See if I get rid of my nose. <laughs> if I get rid of my noise gate, you'll be able to hear it. See if I can lower the noise gate. I can try. I'm afraid to lower it too much though. I gotta ask, do you have like an array of instruments, stuff laid out? Yes, I do. <laughs> I do, I do. Let's have a bunch. Like a bunch of objects around me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 
trying to avoid background noise. I don't know if it's gonna be bad, but let's see. Here, I'll, I'll do it for like a minute, and then you can tell me. Ayuna. Ayuna Saki. Hello. Hi, hi. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. What kind of instruments? Soka, this isn't lewd, okay? I don't have toys up in here. Ah, okay. Clark, I'm gonna Google what a kalimba is. <laughs> What's a kalimba? I know you asked this earlier. Kalimba. Oh, I know what that is. I never knew the name. <laughs> okay, I don't think I have one of these, but I'll have to ask. Maybe someone in my family has one. They are. I'm looking at pictures of kalimbas right now. There's a kitty one. Looks like a kitty. It's not a xylophone. <laughs> there, you can hear this. Let's see. Try something. I want to see. I'm gonna turn my noise gate off for like 30 seconds to a minute. If it's too much, I'll turn it back on, okay? You'll probably hear my fan, maybe. Welcome back, Bear. I don't have a saxophone, Iris. <laughs> what about an ocarina? I don't have one. But oh, I like ocarina of time. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think I have one. It's really hard to do that clicking sound without making it loud. It's actually low sounding, is it? Let me turn up. Yeah. 
Am I naturally loud? Real? Oh my god, just because I screamed? Do I have the ability to play Echo? I've been trying to figure out how to do that, or... Okay. I have been trying to figure out how to do that. Um, I don't know if I have a plugin that can work with my streaming program. I do use Voice Meter, but does Voice Meter actually give you the ability to do that? I, I literally just use Voice Meter to separate my audio. I didn't know voice meter could do other stuff. <sighs> I don't see that. Unless I'm blind, which is, which is, I could be missing it. Oh, wait, I do see it now. <laughs> I see now. I don't think my mic is on here, though. Hanime, Hanime addicted. Welcome, welcome. I, I think I have banana. I think. I don't know. My, my friend helped me set it up. So I'll talk to him tonight and see if we can um, make it work. I don't want to mess with it because I'm afraid I'm going to screw up my audio. But I can do it off stream. Because right now it, it does, I have two different cables. One for my music and then one for my game sounds. Somebody at the door. Shall I read another script chat? I'm so glad you can't hear that. So loud. There we go. Okay. Let's see. 
let's see. So I I found this. If, if some of us you want to know if some of us know about the Mandela catalog, I don't know you. I don't know what that is, Hanime. I'm I'm scared, I think. I don't know you. Am I gonna read a lewd script? I'm not gonna read a lewd script. <laughs> As a reminder, um, when I read the scripts, I just won't be able to, to interact with chat until I'm finished, okay? So you... I'll be able to check my DMs after the stream, Skull. It's just hard for me to check on it during, during the stream, that's all. But I promise I'll check them after, after I end the stream. I saw pictures of a dude with extremely big eyes, and yes, now I need to stay here. <laughs> well, I hope that we can make those bad images go away. Okay. Yes, I, I promise to check my DMs after the stream, okay, Skull? I try to check um, after, and I respond to everybody. Okay, so I found... I found this script. It's called uh, Sacred Seduction. And in this script, there is a being with near infinite power that has fallen in love with a human. So think of like a god or a goddess. And they've watched from afar for a long time. They know that their human loves audio role plays. <laughs> so they decide to make their move. They'll take the human into a realm where they can live these fantasies with the deity playing the love interest. Throughout the script, the deity acts out different fantasy RP cliches. As such, each character should have a slightly different mannerism than the last. <laughs> so this one is a little tougher for me, but I'm going to try my best because I like the concept. It's a very interesting concept. So for you, chat, you are going to be the human that I have whisked away to roleplay dreamland. <laughs> Being, not being. <laughs> being. Like a human being, except this person is a god. So a god being. You're trying to sleep, but your brother next to you watches YouTube with a bright screen. Oh my gosh. 
Just unplug it. Unplug the computer. <laughs> we got a new follow tab. We love you. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Wolf family. We're just about to start another script. Oh, thank goodness, I don't like beans much. <laughs> don't worry, it is a being, a deity. Thank you for the hydrate, Tanime. <laughs> so one last reminder when I do the script I won't be able to interact with you guys until I'm done but I promise I will catch up back catch back up in chat okay so we're on script three now and I will, yes, I will do my best to shift the tone of my voice as much as I can. Josh, I'm gonna try. I think I can do like a couple different tones. Okay. All right. Now let me just pull up the script. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This one's actually kind of cute. I like it. Okay. Let's uh, go back to red for you. <clears throat> okay, and I will begin. Sacred Seduction. <clears throat> Human. I am Burial, the first vampire. You are my humble servant, and tonight I wish to enjoy to feed. Now, come a little closer, little one. It'll only hurt for a moment. Who knows? You may even enjoy it. <laughs> That's a good mortal. I see the hesitation in you. Put it out of your mind. And bear me your neck. That wasn't so bad, was it? Now that you've sated my hunger, we can cuddle on my bed. Come here, little one. You can see firsthand that 
Despite my monstrous abilities, I'm quite lovable. I'm also immensely wealthy and very experienced in pleasure. So it's a win win. Yes. Lay against me, human. My cold skin may remind you that I am dead, but I promise my heart beats just for you. They look skeptical. I might have laid it on too thick. <clears throat> Nothing, mortal. I didn't say a word, and I would know. My senses are so much stronger than yours, after all. I can smell your fear. I can hear your heart beating, and I can taste your desire. <laughs> Kiss me, human. Kiss me and proclaim your love that we may be together forever. No? I went too, f too big too fast, didn't I? <clears throat> hey, what's up? Yeah, it's me, Varial. Your best friend since birth. But you're an Omega, and I'm an Alpha. So there's always been a sort of tension between us. That's right. I just came back from training, and you stayed with the pack. We haven't seen each other since we were much younger, but despite our obvious attraction, we can't be seen together. You see, I have to mate with the Omega from the neighboring clan, so we can stop a war. So, even though you're secretly in love with me and I do clearly want you, we can't be together. Alas, your pheromones are driving me wild. You're in heat, aren't you? I suppose we could elope together. My younger sibling can mate with the Omega, and we can start a new family together. And you don't even have to worry about moral repercussions, because the Omega and my sibling recently love each other and want to be together. We'd be doing everyone a huge, huge favor. So just come with me and be mine. I know you can't resist my good lucks or this distinctive stripe in my fur. It's a full moon tonight, so our urges will be even stronger. Let's run into the woods and find a new den. <clears throat> really? Nothing? Do you want something more subtle, or...? Ah, oh, Yandere. Ah, oh, that'll work. <clears throat> hey. 
Hello, my love. Did you miss me? I know you're blindfolded, gagged, and tied, so I'll just tell you what's happening. I'm your best friend, Varial. We've done everything together. I've always had a crush on you, but I could never admit it. When you started dating your ex, it, it made me so mad. I had to kill them. Then you caught me with his body. I had to knock you out. And I brought you here. I just walked down the stairs to my basement and... You heard me talking about how much I love seeing you sleep. So now, I will take the gag off. And I will feed you. Open wide, sweetie. I made your favorite food. I know you're hungry, so you'll have to play along. You'll think... You're building my trust and getting closer to escape me. But really, Stockholm Syndrome is setting in. And by the end of the month, we'll be together forever. <laughs> hmm. Wait a second. I don't want to wait for a month. <sighs> but the slow burn was working so well. I guess I can always loop back to this one if the quicker options don't work. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Welcome home, master. Was work stressful? What are you talking about, silly Billy? You know me. I'm your Nyeko. My name is Viria. You adopted me a few years ago. And I was super shy. I still am really shy. But I'm not shy around you. You know that I love you. And even though I'm kind of small and a little flighty sometimes, I'm technically an adult for my species. So spicy stuff is okay. I don't know a lot of things, but I know that I love you unconditionally, and I'm ready for you to teach me anything. I'm the perfect blank slate, and you can mold me however you wish. Just don't get the spray bottle. After all, I'm, I'm still part cat, so I hate water, but I love sunbathing. And I get really loopy if you give me catnip. Hmm. I pushed the dumb kitty angle too far, didn't I? <sighs> we can still recover this Neko idea. Just let me try again. <clears throat> Finally, you're home. I've been starving all day. Yeah, it's me, Varial. 
the Sundre Neko that lives in your house. You say you adopted me, but we both know that I adopted you. Now hurry up and get that can of tuna ready. I'm hungry, you. Hmm. This, this tuna's okay. It's not like I love it or anything. I was just really hungry, so I ate all of it. Stop staring at me. Just, just go watch TV or something. Yes, I'm laying on your lap while you watch TV. It's not for any particular reason. You're just, you're sitting in my spot. And if you coincidentally pet me, well, I, I wouldn't scratch you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that doesn't feel good. I don't like it. I just... I don't care enough to stop you. So you can... Keep going if you want. Mm. Mm. can't do this. Acting aloof is way too hard when I love you this much. <sighs> Maybe strangers to lovers will do better. Hmm. Okay. This will do. <laughs> I'm sorry for bumping into you, fair noble. I beg your forgiveness. My name is Varial. I am a young knight. I'm so sorry for taking up your time. Oh? Walk with you, of course. Of course, my liege. Why did you ask me to walk with you? Yes, I... I suppose something may... seem special about me. I was... orphaned, and... I was brought into the Knight's Order at a young age. I have trained tirelessly to be better than all of my peers. I'm ready to lay down my life for you. Of course. I would protect you with my life. You are the ruler of these lands, and I am sworn to serve you. In fact, if a band of assassins broke in right now, I would gladly make peace with life to save you. Oh no. Alone? Assassin. Probably the one who killed your father. I'll fight them, my liege. You run. What happens to me doesn't matter. I'll just buy you time. And if I win and become gravely injured, you can nurse me back to health. And slowly develop feelings for me. <laughs> now run. <gasps> Whoops. I think I made that assassin a little too good. Oh well. You weren't buying this one anyway, were you? Please still while I heal you and I'll try something else. <laughs> hmm. You have summoned me, mortal? I am Varial. 
arch demon of desire. <laughs> this summoning circle is weak. It will not hold me. I am free to do whatever I wish to you. O oh, summoner of mine, raise yourself. Welcome to my domain, mortal. I rule over this section of hell, and from now on, you'll be my pet. And... <gasps> oh. Wow, you already look unimpressed. Is this not your speed? That was a rhetorical question. If you don't like this, I'll just... Wait. Did you say you remember the other fantasy is? That, that shouldn't be possible. I've been brainwashing you in between each of these. You should believe who you are in each situation. <sighs> I must have gotten sloppy on the casting. Oh well. If at first you don't succeed... <laughs> Greeting, human. I am Varial, an alien from a far-off galaxy. <laughs> One whiskey for Varial. I am in the Mafia boss that's been frequenting your bar for a while. <gasps> hey, nerd. It's Burial, and I'm here for your lunch money. Hmm. I'm your best friend's older sibling. Mm -hmm. I'm your favorite anime character. I'm your professor. Your step-sibling? A pirate. A robot. Spouse? Best friend? I'm... <sighs> well, I've got nothing. I'm out of ideas. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're confused. I've been messing with your memories quite a bit. Let's just start over. I'm very Leclerc. I'm... well... I'm special. For a lack of a better comparison, I'm a god, or at least what you would call a god. It's, it's pretty complex. Just don't think about it too much or you'll go insane. Sometimes I walk around as a mortal and one day I passed you. Nothing special happened, but it was enough. I could see all of your dreams and ambitions just from a glance. I thought you'd be perfect. That you'd be the closest thing to a soulmate that I could find. I, uh... I got a little stalkery. While I was watching you, I, uh, noticed something that consumed a lot of your time. Audio? Role plays? 
I thought since you liked them so much, maybe you'd like to live one. And that maybe if I uh, played my cards right, I could live one with you. Obviously, it, uh, it didn't go as well as I thought, so I'm kind of stuck in a corner. I guess I'll just go for the long shot. I like you. I really like you. We have so many similar interests. And I'm, uh, I'm sorry for trying to trick you. Do you think we can go out for coffee sometime? And that is the end. Hello, Vic. <laughs> Welcome back, Vic. Luciana. Luciana with the follow, thank you so much. Welcome. Welcome to the Wall family. That is a wolf tail. It's a wolf tail, Jolly. It says tail, okay? It could be a wolf tail. It's a wolf tail. Make my model a little bit bigger. There we go. <laughs> For some reason, this makes me want to wash my neck. You don't want to get... You don't want to get bit by a vampire war? <laughs> I am doing well, Luciana. I was trying out a script and it like required me to change my voice around a bit, so I was kind of seeing if I could do it okay. The ending was kind of hard though. When they changed their personas around so much. I was just questioning if my neck flavor was off. <laughs> I think blood tastes sweet to a vampire, probably. But that script was kind of fun. What flavor is desire? That made me laugh. <laughs> the script didn't sound very ASMR-y. I was trying different things with that one, Iris. So it might have went a little off, been a little off. How are you, Luciana? I hope I'm able to help you sleep, Vic. I hope I can do something good for you. Got me feeling some type of way. <laughs> well, I hope, I hope you enjoyed it, Bulb. I was trying hard for that one. Um... That one was cute though. I thought there was going to be a part two, but I can't find a part two. Hmm. 
No. No abandonment. No abandonment, Serviche. Don't worry. Chat. Be honest. Are you liking these streams? Do you like when I read the scripts? Do you like when I try to do some sounds? I want to try to make it better. I want to make um, better ASMR streams, but I, I very much enjoy reading the scripts. It's very fun to me. I hope you like it. I see. I must see. Hi, Mercy. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. I was. I. I gotta find my bone. My bone. One second. I'll I'll find my bone in my in in my box. Uh, it's somewhere in my box. I'm not abandoning anybody. I found it. <laughs> Rust tried to scare me. Frost, my my sound alerts are muted for today, okay? I'm sorry, but they're just muted for today. They'll be back on tomorrow, so you can scare me tomorrow. Cause I know you want to. Thank you for that treat, Marcy. I just need something to listen to when sleeping. Do whatever you want. Okay, Vic. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it helps you sleep. <gasps> I want a pink bone. I need a pink bone. Wait, what are you talking about, Serviche? The game mail you all the rewards? Oh, are you talking about Lost Ark? Thank you for the poster, Jack Frost. Yes, do PvP as well. Okay. <sighs> you ever just stretch really, really good? You like stretch your body and it just feels really nice? That it almost makes you more tired than you were before. <laughs> that happened to me just now. But I needed that stretch. Did my model move? Okay, there we go. Hmm. Do you want to hear more sounds, chat? Or would you like to hear a script? I didn't know you were streaming. Belly, belly with the rain. I want to 
could give you a shout out, but I think the clip will be muted. Probably. What were you playing? Ah, oh, you play Osu. I'm so bad at Osu. <laughs> I didn't know you streamed, Belly. That's awesome. Am, are we being exposed right now? Is, is Marshy being exposed? <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Belly. Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome. Yes, my alerts should be muted. I hope. I hope you didn't hear anything. <laughs> I hope. Hello, my name. Welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful stream, Belly. <laughs> and many, many more. You feel like your wrist is gonna explode? Oh my gosh. ASMR will do, I mean, not ASMR. Uh, Osu will do that to you. <laughs> Osu will do that. You're going to put a funny in Discord? Okay. I'll try a few sounds, chat. I'm going to try to turn my noise gate down. Fully, it sounds okay. <gasps> I can't watch a video today, Bally. I can watch it tomorrow. Tomorrow. But you still got 2K to go, so that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, you got two K to go. Do you like this sound? Chat, let me know. How fast can I do it? Really? There 
there's an echo. Is it a loud echo? I hope it wasn't, um, bothersome. But maybe it was the echo from the room. Are you okay? Okay. As long as it was quiet. I'm just trying to think of other signs that I could use for you. You want to hear Doggo go Barco? But Doggo is loud. I don't want to hear doggo go barko. Not while I'm trying to be cozy and quiet. It's loud, my name. It's very loud. Have him do a whisper, Barco? I don't think that's possible. Is it possible to whisper? Whisper? Whisper, Barco? <laughs> um. So I have a couple other scripts, but I figured. We could take a little break and we could, we could chat a bit, chat, we could chat a bit. Oh my gosh. I don't know how ASMR works, it doesn't work for me. Um, well, I mean, there are some things in ASMR that work for people and some things that don't. Maybe, maybe you just have to find the right sounds that you like. I like, um, the fabric one where you hear the fabric kind of like brush over the microphone. Like that. Um, the popping noise is nice. You're Mexican American, so you're loud. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, actually, I think I've always been kind of quiet. I don't think I'm. I've been a very loud person, except when I get scared. Then I guess I'm loud. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> I can't scream. I'm supposed to be quiet. I can't. <gasps> what a raid. What a raid, everybody. What a raid. Hello. Hello, Taro. Hello, Taro. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So cool. Can we get a shout out for the tarot? You won't be able to hear the clip, but I still want to give you a shout out, tarot. Underscore C H. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. My name is Mariel. 
Varial Angel Eclair, and I am a wolf VTuber, and I am kind of diving into ASMR role-playing, so I'm like learning how to do like different trigger sounds with ASMR, but I'm also reading scripts and stuff, trying to like push my voice to do stuff. I don't know how to spell. I figured out how to spell. I don't know how to spell. I, st I still spelled it wrong. I still spelled it wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> did I do it right? Okay, I did it right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tadoyu. I want to welcome everybody who gave me lovely follows. You are all new members of the wolf family. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We've got Tio Baito. The Awakened Dragon Slayer. Ooh. Kind of cool. <laughs> Quibbler. Hi, 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 hi. For Beloved. Warps. <laughs> Sneaker. Sneakers 57. Hi, 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 hi. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm trying not to scream. <laughs> I'm trying really hard. <laughs> I'm supposed to be quiet. <laughs> I'm supposed to be quiet. Uh, I ho I don't want to miss anybody. I don't want to miss all your lovely, lovely follow faces. Rar. <laughs> Hello. Rar. Wow. Huff. 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 Hey. <laughs> Silent Polar Bear. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Wolf Family. Belonding. Belonding. Hi, 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 hi. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Subscriber. That is so cute. <laughs> Subscriber. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Josh Rose Silent. Welcome to the channel. And Goat Overloaded, welcome. You are all new members of the Wolf family. <laughs> welcome, welcome, everybody. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I really, really do. We're not a fox family, Belly. We are wolves here. <laughs> We're wolves here. My chat won't let me be a wolf. They won't let me be a wolf, uh. I just want to be a wolf. <laughs> Exploded. Exploded with the follow. <laughs> Welcome, Exploded. Thank you so much. Uh, serious. Like serious Black. <laughs> serious. Thank you so much. Welcome to the wolf family. Welcome to the wolf pack. <laughs> Serious as in the constellation. <gasps> That's even better. That's beautiful. Thank you for the stretch goat. I appreciate it. Mm. Cat, why are you internet famous? Did you eat a box of crayons on cam? <laughs> No, I didn't. I would never eat crayons. They taste bad. Ew, they taste bad. Roderick Sealbine, welcome to the Wolf family. Hi, 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 hi. I should read a script for all of you. I should read a script. 
so that I can try to give you something relaxing. Did I make AMVs? Yes, Belly, I used to make AMVs, but not anymore. <laughs> Those were my teenage edgy years, okay? Do you perhaps know Sif, the Great Wolf? I do. I am familiar with that name. Wolves are cool, but Shibas are number one. Shiba Inus with their cute little faces that you just want to squish. Yes, Shibas are very, very precious. A wolf-like constellation. That sounds beautiful. I like it. Yes, I used to be an edgy teenager that made AMVs. Okay, I I had I had my my edgy phase. I needed an outlet, okay? <laughs> if you want to see my my edgy, edgy AMBs, you can go to, I think that's the name, but that's not my, my Twitch YouTube. <laughs> this is my, f my old, old YouTube. Jolly, this is not your first time here. You literally have a 20, 27 month badge. That's not your first time here. Apple making videos. <laughs> Apple making videos. <laughs> oh my god. Apple making videos are very edgy. Oh my god, I'm gonna... I can't laugh. I can't. I'm gonna. I can't laugh. It's gonna be too loud. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a good one. I actually. All I can think of is like you're peeling an apple and you're listening to Evanescence in the background or, or Numb by Linkin Park as you're, as you're peeling the apple. All you hear is. <laughs> I've become so numb, I can't feel you there. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how I got 23 months here. I think it's a bug. I'm new here. Yeah, you're new here with the moderator tag. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Fresh belly is a baby. A little baby, baby. Thank you so much for the follow. Why? Why shy? Why shy, right? Why shy 4K? Welcome to the wolf family. I, I want to find a script for you guys, just deciding which one I should read next. Because I have one, but it's really long. And I was wondering if maybe I should do a shorter one. This one's a really long one. It's about 2600 words, so it's gonna, it's gonna take me a little while. Um, I have a cute one. This one's a little bit long, but this one is kind of fantasy. I like this, the idea of this one. Ah, Peak. Peak 9000. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. 
Welcome to the wolf family. Miss Wolf Cat, can you tell us your favorite ice cream? My favorite ice cream is mint chocolate chip. Oh my god, I want mint chocolate chip now, Dale. Just Yoshi? Oh, Yoshi. Yoshi 4K. <laughs> I am doing well. I hope you are well as well, Yoshi. Thank you for the hydrate, my name. The cat needs to find a bunny script. I do. <laughs> hydrate. Oh, that's a good one. Hydrate. Oh, that's a good one. I like it. That's a good name. Hydrate. Just have a drink between the thighs. I mean, I need another hydrate. Where's my water? Thank you for the stretch, my name. So as I've told my chat, I, um, I like reading scripts, so when I do the scripts, though, I, I won't be able to interact with chat as much because I want to um, keep the story flow, so when I start a script, I won't interact until the end, but I promise that I'll go back and read all of your comments. It's just easier for me to keep the flow and keep the rhythm going, you know? My day is going well because Cat is here. My day is going well because a cute bun bun named Marshy is here. Cute marshmallow bun bun. I have a script. First one. Second one. First version. Okay. Okay, I was just reading um, the synopsis really quick. I realized that there were two different versions of this script, so I found the version that I wanted. Why you lie about the cute Bun Bun? I am not lying. Bun Bun is very cute. Okay, I'm just gonna adjust I have a, a, a command for the scripts if anyone's interested in reading them. You can read them along with me. Um, but I up I'm trying to update them as I go through them. So the, the link should work. Okay. Just remember, I won't be able to read chat until I'm done, okay? But I promise I will scroll back up and read it. So this is a script about a sundere fey. For anyone who doesn't know what a fey character is, they are similar to a fairy. Ah, thank you, Mercy. 
I'm glad it works. And Chicky, Chicky, welcome to the channel, Chicky. Chicky FQS is a new member of the Wolf family. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> so this is going to be a story. I will be the fae, so I will be the fairy. And Chad, you are going to be the listener. You're like a a human mage. You're a human mage, and you are traveling through the forest one day, and you find out that something is following you and messing with you, so you have to find out what it is. Enjoy your lurk, Belly. Thank you so much again for the raid. Enjoy your animo. Hopefully I'll be asleep by the end. I hope so, Vic. I hope you rest. Alright. So I will begin momentarily, okay? Let's do a spring form. Okay. Yes, we had a big raid, Drew. But we're about to start a script. We got a wonderful raid from Taro. Wonderful, wonderful raid from Taro. Wind. Wind Wardemu. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the Wolf family. Hi, hi. I hope, I hope all you lovely new faces enjoy it here. I am trying my best to, um, learn about ASMR and learn about ASMR role-playing. And I hope that you enjoy it. And I will interact with chat as soon as I am done with this. I will begin. <sighs> oh, they're gone. Oh, they're gonna. Okay, just a little farther in. No, no one's here but us trees. You should just keep walking. No, 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 no. You shouldn't venture off the path. Lots of evil fays roam these woods. You wouldn't want to get lost. Ah, uh, this isn't happening. Let me go. The creature you grabbed is entirely unrelated to any mischievous behaviors you may have noticed. Pay no attention to them and just walk away. <sighs> All right. Fine. You got me. I painted the giant red X when you stepped off the path to avoid it. I was going to prank you. I'm sorry, and if you just let me go, I'll be grateful forever, and you can grant me, and I'll grant you, three wishes. I'm not a fae. I'm not. I'm a genie, and I've lost my bottle, so I've become especially foolish. I can grant you your heart's desire. What do you want? 
silk suits? A fortune? A harem, perhaps? I can give it to you. Just let me go and close your eyes. Really? You're not buying that? Well, it was worth a shot. Fine. You caught me for real. I am a fae. I wanted to play a little joke on you, and now you've grabbed me. You know, in my culture, capturing a fae like this is really frowned upon. You're lucky I'm nice, or I would totally hex you. I could totally hex you right now. I don't need to know your name to do magic. And I definitely don't need to trick you into asking you for something and then twist it. That's a myth. Totally a myth made up. It, it, was, it was made up by, by the dwarves. By the dwarves. The dwarves hate us, Faye, because we can dig better holes than them. Yeah, so let me go and I'll show you. Come on, please. You can't keep me forever. I've got a family. I need to get back to them. Where do, where do they live? Um, they live in the Fey Realm, which is a place that humans can't go to or see. And if I told you about it, you wouldn't be able to understand because magic? So you should just let me go and head back to your merry human way. Yep, my family is probably starting to miss me. I've been away for quite a while, so I've got to go hurry home. Home to the Fey Realm where I live. You're not buying this either, are you? Well, I thought it was pretty convincing. If you weren't such a freaky expert on phase, then I bet it would have worked. So really, me being stuck here is all your fault, and you should just let me go. I definitely have a place to go. I just didn't tell you because... It's so cool. And if I told you, you'd want to come with me. But I don't have a plus one, so I'd have to say no. And then you'd be sad. And you being sad would make me sad. So don't ask where I'm going. Nope. You definitely couldn't help me there. It's really far. And it has tons and tons and tons of monsters along the way. What? What kind of monsters are you afraid of? Yeah, 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 lots of those. Lots of those. Whatever those are, they, they're like really mean and always hungry and they don't get a good night's sleep yesterday, so I bet they're like extra cranky. You could teleport us there? Are you pulling my leg or something? Humans can't do magic. So either you're lying or you're not human. <gasps> Are you not human? This is a human road, so if you aren't a human, then you really shouldn't be here. The humans may not be good at much, but they make very sharp stakes and very bright torches. They don't like it when they see non-humans around. They're kind of mean like that. No, you should really run and let me go while you're at it. Because I think I hear a human coming. Quick, they're right behind you. 
Come on, how are you not falling for any of this? You've dealt with Faye before? Oh, that sounds ominous. Are you some sort of hunter? A hunter that only kills Faye? Are you going to eat me? You run a home for underprivileged Archaeans? Well, that can't be true. There's only one of those around here, and it's run by the scariest, cruelest, most despicable thing around. They say that the, the headmaster eats babies, and he's the second cousin of the devil. If he looks at you, you'll, you'll turn to stone, and then he'll feed the statue to his pet dragon. Where did I hear that? Um... Just a rumor. You know, a friend of mine once lived there for a bit. And... Well, now they don't have wings anymore. He cut them off and made them into a cup. That most certainly did happen. It's not like my friend would lie about something like that. They know how many deep-winged related fears I have. They would never send a letter like that for any other reason than to warn me. Yes, my friend is a fairy. What other things can you think of that have clear wings? Yeah, blue hair, kinda lanky, yellow eyes. Say, how are you guessing all this stuff? <gasps> you know them? That can't be right. They ventured north, stopped at that monster's home, and they've never been allowed to leave. There's no way you could have met them. Unless... Oh no. You're it, aren't you? You're gonna pluck out my wings and turn my insides out. Please, I don't want to die. I was just passing through. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I tried to prank you, so please just... Just let me go. Yes, you are. You're a monster. Your skin is colorless, your eyes are black, and I've... I've even heard that you don't have teeth. You just swallow your prey alive and let them rot inside you. No? I... Guess you don't look like that right now, but I'm sure this is some trick to lure me back to your lair. That's probably why I haven't turned to stone either. You're trying to take me away and you don't want to lug me all the way there. No, I won't look at you. That's probably how you entrance victims. I will never do your bidding, monster. No, I'm not curious. I'll keep my eyes shut forever if I have to. Just, just, just go away. Let me go. If I look at your face, you'll let me go? No, I... Oh. <clears throat> Fine. I'll look for a second. Oh. Oh wow, you do still look normal. Your eyes are... are really calming. I... I... I don't know why I thought all those awful things about you. I guess when I heard about the wing thing, my imagination kind of got the best of me. Do you promise that you'll never pull any of my wings? Okay then, I... I guess I... I don't know what to say. I don't know what I want to say. And looking at you is making it very hard to think. If I look upon you, I'll find the courage to speak my mind. 
That's a... That's a pretty cool power, I guess. I... I, I want to stay with you. I... I don't know why I said that. It's not true. I don't want to stay in one home. I like being free and pulling pranks. No, I don't want to look at you again. It made me feel all fuzzy and weird. Plus, I don't have anything else to admit to. Hey, you can't just move into my line of vision. That's not fair. Nope. I'm not going to look. No matter how calming it is, I'm not gonna... Stop it. I can feel you staring at me. That's a cruel plot. No, I'm not going... I'm not. I don't have anyone. My parents kicked me out, so I'm all alone. I miss having a roof over my head. I miss... Whoa. I almost spilled my guts there. What I was about to say is entirely unimportant. You should disregard it. Yes. Everything else that I said was true. I'm only 94, but my parents said that was old enough to make it big on my own. They thought I should be tormenting travelers and bewitching villages by now. But I'm... I'm not very good at magic. Or making deals. Or making tricks. Or making food for that matter, so I've been staying close to the road. Spooking passerbys the best I can. Sometimes they have food and water and stuff, and that's all I get. No, I don't have to look into your eyes again. I can say the rest on my own. I miss having someone to watch over me. I said my parents got rid of me, but it was mostly my mom. She's kind of an old-fashioned fay. My dad was always really nice to me. He always made me feel safe. I guess I craved that kind of attention more than I realized. Is that... really on the table? Could I stay with you? Are you sure I wouldn't be a bother? Is there enough space at the dinner table for me just to... show up? If there's not, you can just magic up some more? Well, if you're sure that you don't mind, and you promise that all the other arcanes won't be mean to me, then... Well, I... I guess I could stay a little. Just for a little while. Um... And... You know... Thank you. That is it, Tad. <laughs> that one was cute, wasn't it? <laughs> I know I got some lovely follows while I was reading. I apologize for not responding right away. I just want to keep the flow going when I do the scripts is all so that I keep keep the rhythm going, you know? I hope you don't mind. Stani, welcome. Welcome to the wolf family. We are wolves here. Welcome, Stani. Thank you so much for the follow. And Cranium Shaker. Thank you. Welcome to the wolf family. Welcome to the channel. As well as Crazy Psycho. Hello. I appreciate all the lovely follows and new faces. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you all are enjoying it. Thank you so much. Really, thank you very, very much. I hope you liked the script. Oh, 
Her voice is so soothing just by reading the scripts. I'm getting sleepy, not gonna lie. <laughs> I hope you liked it, Sneaker. I hope you liked it. We're just reading some scripts. Crazy Psycho, I'm trying to do a little bit of um, ASMR role-playing and some... Um, I try to do little, little sounds, little triggers here and there. But I'm still learning how to properly do ASMR. I'm, I'm very new to this. I did it for the first time last week. And it was really fun. So I wanted to do it again. <laughs> I, I, I really, I'm really enjoying it actually a lot. Hello, AMC. New people, do not let this fox fool you. She is indeed a fox and not a wolf. Do not listen to her lies. Do not listen to Dali's lies. I am a wolf. A wolf, via Silvaida. Can see my little logo underneath underneath the chat box. That's a wolf. That's a wolf right there. It's a wolf. They howl at the moon. That was really good. I wouldn't have known you were new to ASMR if you hadn't said so. <laughs> Thank you, exploded. Thank you. I am, I am new, but I'm, I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you guys like it. I, I get very nervous when I do, um, ASMR. <laughs> I get kind of nervous. <laughs> so, I, I hope you guys like it. I really do. <laughs> I'm act I, I, I really do like it a lot. It's really fun to read the scripts and like kind of act out a character. It, it, it's really fun to me. So I hope, I hope you guys like it. Blitzman. Blitzman with the follow. Thank you so much, Blitz. Welcome to the wolf family. I hope you are excited to be a part of the wolf pack with us. Cats putting viewers to sleep again. <laughs> hey, at least I'm doing something good, right? It means I'm doing it good and not hurting people's ears. Too bad I wasn't there on that one. Very, I had to wash dishes. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay, Dash. That one was really cute, though. I liked that script. I'm, I'm, I can still read more. I can read more, Sneaker. That was just that one, that one particular one. I turn off my texts because I just don't want people getting confused. So I turn the texts back on when I am, uh, gonna, gonna, gonna read <laughs> what I'm gonna read. While you're reading the scripts, your voice is making me very sleepy in a good way. I'm glad. I'm glad I can do something good for you guys. If I put you to sleep, does that mean I'm doing a good job? <laughs> I hope you like it. I hope you're liking it. Jolly, please. Please. Don't do it. Please don't. My throws and alerts are disabled. Well, my sounds are disabled. AMC, so the throws are also disabled. 
I'm going to just put throws disabled in my title, okay? <laughs> oh my god, Jolly, please, please. I hope one day a spider lands in front of your face while you're doing ASMR. So cool. I'm gonna kill everyone with my scream. No. No. Stop. Stop. Don't join them, Snaker. You're not supposed to join in. Don't join in. Thank you for the poster tag. Crazy. He's like, go you. <laughs> Sir PG only has 75 wings. Hello? 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 Oh well. Oh well. It's not my fault Dalai influenced me. You're letting him influence you to become part of the hive mind that is my tat. My tat is becoming a hive mind. To torture me. How many oohs did we redeem? <laughs> Too many. Too many. Snickered for my... I, I named my points wings, so it's the wings command. Yep. There you go. I made wings my point system a long time ago before Twitch had a point system. And I just never got rid of it because people like... Gambling, gambling their wings away, or they like song requests if I do song requests. Hi. Oh. Hive bees, honey? Not that kind of hive mind, Theika. The bad one. Honey is a good hive mind. But my tat's trying to, they're trying to, to tease me. They're joining the, the fox hive mind where they call me a fox. Even though I'm a wolf girl. Um, I just have to be right back real quick, Tat, okay? I promise I'm just going to be like two minutes or three minutes, okay? I am sorry, but I will, I will be right back. And we can continue. I will do another script. I do look like a wolf. <gasps> really? <laughs> Thank you, Sneaker. Thank you.
Oh my god. Sir Vijay. <laughs> Sir Vijay. Easy pay to win. <laughs> Easy pay to win. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, Sir Vijay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you. For the five gifted subs. <laughs> I, I want to name them. We got a subby for Shalula. And a subby for Satora. Bargini Zuru, a crimson Daikenki, and a red dois. Enjoy your sabies. Uh, enjoy your sabies. Thank you so much, Sir Vijay. You are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Does you, does you really sub? Give me subs so you could get wings? <laughs> the Bronzy. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Wolf Family, Bronzy. Negative Tron. Negative Tron. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. You're a new member of the Wolf Pack. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. You're not gonna join the ha the the Hive, the Hive Mind Snaker. That is good. <laughs> I'd sub, but I'm a dom. So you like doing the stepping, Jolly? Instead of being stepped on, is what you're telling me? Are you a stray cat? <laughs> I'm not a stray. But I do want to play the stray cat game. I do. Oh. But I have to wait till I finish other games like Elden Ring and stuff. So once I finish Elden Ring, I might get the cat game. Are you going to play it after getting over it? Sir Vijay, I don't think I'm... I'm ever gonna get over, get over it. I don't think it's ever gonna happen. I just think that, uh, <laughs> we just have to face the facts. <laughs> Mommy? Sorry, mommy. When I first heard you were doing ASMR last week, I knew immediately it would actually go viral because of your voice. You can do a lot of unique scripts with that soft, deep voice. Thank you, Dosh. I hope so, you. I hope so. I am trying. <laughs> Cat will never get over it. I don't think I'm ever going to get over it. I can, I can try playing it again one day, but I really don't think I'm ever going to be getting over it. Ever. <laughs> it's just too hard for me. It's just way too hard for me.
Don't feed our ego, she'll grow too powerful. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm still an overthinker that has anxiety. So I will still overthink and think that I need to do more. But, um, your kind words, chat, do give me confidence. So thank you. I just, I want, I want to do a good job for you guys. <laughs> Cat, <laughs> I was. Uh, I got a wonderful raid. A wonderful, wonderful raid by the lovely Tarot. I am not Ari. I'm not. I I have something interesting. I wanted to do a demon script again. I like playing the demon. So I found a, a demon one. <laughs> Would you like me to read a demon one, chat? This one... That I found is about a demon tutor. Okay. It's about a demon tutor, and you as the listener will be my my um student. What kind of demon? There are many different types of demons. Well, I'm a good-looking demon, that's for sure. And I will be your tutor today. I will be teaching you about magic. If you wish to read along, you could read along here. I, I added it to the um, list of scripts. I'm not a Firefox. I don't have a Firefox form. I just have a red form, okay? What kind of demon? Oh, wait, I read that. Sorry. Demon getting on my holy water, throwing it away. I'm ready. <laughs> yes, we mustn't have any of those naughty, naughty things here that can uh, hurt your precious demon, can we? No, Sir VJ, we're not adding my fan fiction. Angel seems more like an arctic wolf. I can be kind of like an arctic wolf. See, these are my true colors. And then I have the pink and purple is like a summery color. But these are my natural colors. If I want a summery spring vibe. Or if I want more of a mommy vibe. This is the blood of my, I mean, I just dyed my, my hair red. Mommy, sorry, mommy. Ruben, Ruben with a follow, Ruben SG. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome to the whole family. If you say you're a wolf, fine, I'll believe you. I mean, you kind of look like a fox, but I can see how you're a wolf. I mean, I just wanted a fluffy tail <laughs> and big ears. 
But I wanted to be a wolf girl. I'm, I'm redesigning my model again. She's going to still be a wolf girl, but I'm going to change her horns a bit and change her tail and ears a bit. But I'm still going to be the same character. I just want to give her a new outfit. But it's going to take me a little while. The red form can be Yandere too. Yeah, it can be Yandere. Yandere, mommy, demon. The blood of the dark soul noted. <laughs> oh, I only, you know. I won't eat all of chat souls, just a little. Just, just a snack. A little snack. Right, Dad? We don't have a dungeon here. Not at all. Changing tails so it is removable. Thank you for the stretch plasma. My tail is not a plug, okay? My tail is not a plug. I just want to change its design. It's still going to be the same tail. Gosh. Uh, so we say. You feel anxious due to having to wake up at 5 a.m. for work? And then you have two appointments back to back after that. 5 a.m. is so rough. That's rough, snake guard. I hope you make it through, though. You'll make it through, okay. A tail cut? No, don't touch it. Don't cut my tail. Don't touch it. No, you. You're not cutting my tail. Just, you know, just a, a redesign, you know, making it like, okay, maybe, maybe like a little haircut. Okay, maybe a haircut. Just don't snip snip the tail. Just, just the fuzz. Just the fuzz, you're right. Just the fuzz. Yank her tail? Unplug a tail? Can we pull your tail? Okay, but you have to be gentle. Promise me you'll be gentle to my tail and I'll let you touch it. Except Soku and Iris, they're not allowed to touch my tail because they're going to pull it. See if it comes off. Kat, can you share the chili recipe? It is a secret that must never be revealed. Can I touch hair? You can touch my hair, if you're gentle, Dolly. I promise on my mother I will be gentle. You will be gentle with me, I hope. There was once a, there was once a ship that put to sea. What happens next? Huntress Mean. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Wall family. Welcome, to, welcome, welcome. I just wanted to catch up with chat a little bit, but we've been reading ASMR role playing scripts. And it's been very, very fun. It's obviously not cotton candy, but it's probably okay tasting. Maybe I taste like marshmallows. You never know, Dale. We touch in tails in this chat, I'm down. <laughs> Only if you're gentle. My tail is very sensitive. Just make sure you're gentle. Be gentle with me, chat. 
The name of the ship was Billy of Tea. I feel like this is going somewhere and I should know this. <laughs> Let's see, I was... Oh, right, right, right. I found a demon tutor script. So I'm gonna be your demon teacher, chat. Kind of like your demon tutor and... Demon friend, confidant. Tails are never sensitive until Dragon Ball and Kid Goku. <laughs> yes, but they've been sensitive s since then. So I'm going to read this um script to you chat um while i read the script just remember that i won't interact with chat until i'm done but if you'd like to read along you can sometimes i change things just on the fly but if you wish to read it, you can. But we'll be doing a demon tutor. You better pay attention to your demon tutor, chats. She'll be quizzing you. <laughs> oh wait, let me get this up. We're on number five. I slept through class. Well, I can't sleep today, Drew. It's time to be awake. You better pay attention. Okay. I don't know why I get so nervous when I'm about to start another one. Okay. <clears throat> Script number five. Here we go. Your Highness, may I come in? I understand you might not want to see anyone right now, but I assure you, I can help. I'm going to open the door now. Stay calm. Why are you hiding under your beddings, your majesty? I understand you feel that way, but I assure you, you are not a monster. I believe that you've had quite a few symptoms lately. Would you mind telling me about them? It's okay if you don't want to speak. Your parents have thoroughly filled me in. From what I hear, you've sprouted horns. Your skin is turning red and you've been having outbursts? Is that right? I know it is, sweetie. You don't have to tell me. 
I'm sure it's gotten you very scared. I know that's why you're hiding from me right now. But I can promise you that we will fix this. I do know what's happening to you. In a sense, at least. It may be partially my fault. If you come out from under your bed, I'll be glad to tell you why. Ah, there you are. I see your eyes remain unaffected. Yes, I am a demon, little royal. That's why I know exactly what's happening to you. You see, we have a history. One of your parents tried to hide from the entire kingdom. Once you understand it, you'll see why this is happening. Do you remember the day when you were born? Most humans don't, but if you focus, you may be able to recall that I was there. Did your parents ever tell you how close you came to death? As you left your mother's womb, you were barely clinging to life. You didn't breathe. Your heart barely throbbed and your soul was slipping away from you. Your father had made many deals with me before. Most kings of his stature do. He knew that if he wanted to save his firstborn, well, he should skip the mages and medics and call me. By the time he summoned me, you had breathed your last. You were dead and your father requested that I revive you. Your soul had done its best to leave you. Only a vague shadow of it remained. I told him that there wasn't anything left to save you and he pushed harder. Your parents wouldn't let you go, so I told them of a solution, a way to get your heart beating again. See, we demons don't have souls. We don't need them. Our core is a form of magical energy. It's self-sustaining, and I offered to give some of mine to you. Just enough to kickstart your heart and save your body. They were apprehensive. They feared that my process would turn you into a demon. Technically speaking, they were right, but there is no other option. I stuffed a little shred of energy into you, and it got you going again. You took a deep breath and started wailing as all babies do. Your father paid me and thanked me, and I warned that the magic I put in you would only get stronger. That one day your demonic qualities would manifest. Evidently, that day is today. I'm sorry if you feel as though this is my fault. In a literal sense it is, but I promise if you stay calm and work with me, we can get you in control of your new demonic powers. Then if you're still unconfident, we should be able to mask them properly and entirely. Or at least practice masking them. You can go back to having your normal royal life. Does that sound all right? Great.
I'm sure control will come naturally to you. So just stand up, take a deep breath, and we can begin. The magic that's manifesting is an extension of you. You produce it unconsciously, like everything else your body does. It pools in your torso, and as you've seen, you can conduct it through any part of your body. I understand you almost took off the head of a maid. Could feel the burn come through your veins just before the lightning shot from your fingers. I imagine it hurt. That was because the magic you displayed was unfocused. With practice, conjuration, restoration, and thousands of other schools of magic that can be performed. Not just the evocation you witnessed. What's more important now is to stay calm. Or more accurately, stay neutral. <laughs> now, every form of magic is tied to an emotion. Well, actually emotions themselves are magic. That's why true love is so often a cure to spells and hexes. Your fear and self-loathing were a gateway to destruction. That does not mean you should shun them. It means you should keep them in check. As you must now do. For anger. Sadness. Lust. Admiration. Or amazement. Basically, any strong feeling you could think of could cause a magical outburst. And as you saw, with fear, that outburst can very easily fan its own flames. Before you know it, you could cause some real chaos. So we'll begin with a few breathing exercises. I want you to remember these patterns and do them whenever you feel overwhelmed. Ready? Now breathe after me. Little, small breath. <laughs> that pattern with those specific timings has been passed down through demon families for generations if you are ever out of control that exercise will shut you down as it has for countless demons before you who I promise were much more volatile than you I want you to understand that you have a failsafe, something that can bring you to a halt. No matter what, you do not need to fear your power. You are in control. I'd like you to say that out loud. Tell me yourself and the whole world that you are in control. I can sense that you don't believe that. Don't worry, we'll work on it. In fact, I'm sure that after I teach you a couple of tricks, you'll feel even more on top of things. You heard me. What's the point of having magic if you can't do a few parlor tricks? Let's begin with the most practical spell in the book, 
shall we? Easy enough for a beginner, and useful enough for a master. This chair will do nicely for our practice. I want you to sit down in it. Now stand up. Sit. Stand. While I was ordering you around, did you ever once feel doubt? Did you ever suspect the chair wouldn't hold you? Good. Now pick it up. Yes, really, just pick it up off of the ground. Not very far. Just make sure the legs don't touch the floor. Put it down. Pick it up. Now drop it. Good. What were you thinking about to lift the chair? Trick question, darling. You didn't. The ability to lift objects is so ingrained in you that you didn't have to think about it. You didn't think about which muscles were contracting. You didn't think about the word lift. You simply did it. <laughs> I want you to think about lifting the chair. Think it. Do it. But do not touch the chair. I know it seems counterintuitive. The most magic does that first, but once you get the hang of it, it'll be second nature. Now pick up the chair. Stop. I can see it on your face. You're not doing it right. You're thinking about how you would lift the chair if you were touching it. You need to cut out the middleman. That is the touch. It may help you to mime the motions of picking up the chair while not actively touching it. Just take a step back and pick up the chair. You're struggling more than you need to. I didn't want to introduce this, but I can give you some proverbial training wheels. Now imagine a hand. It's pale, ghostly, but it's your hand. You can grip with it. You can punch and touch. You can feel what the hand does. That's because it is yours. You add two hands, and now you have three. This third hand does not have an arm, and it is not attached to you. But it is yours. Now move that third hand. Focus, and you'll find you can displace it through real space. Move your new hand under the chair and push very good. Now set the chair down gently. Close. But I suppose dropping the chair is much better than nothing. You'll find gentle balance is quite hard when you limit yourself to one hand's worth of a surface area. In time, we'll train that behavior out of you. We'll teach you to lift with a thousand hands every time. But until then, you've got quite a new skill, haven't you? You'll find you can lift anything. Anything light, at least. It can be close or fire. It can be in your sight line or out. That's because the hand isn't actually there. The object moves because you are pushing it, just as it would if you pushed it with your physical extremity is. How about another trick? Open your hand. Face up. What color is your palm? Now close your hand. What color are your fingers? 
Notice that your palm is lighter than your fingers. Open your hand. As your hand opened, the color you were viewing got brighter. From a darker red to a lighter pink. I want you to imagine a color gradient. From the pink of your palm all the way to white. Got it? Now close your hand. Don't open your hand until I tell you now. Now without looking, what color is the inside of your hand? Pink? Wrong. That's the color it was. But before we're done, your hand will be glowing white. This spell, like all the others, requires a level of belief. I want you to remember that you have magic. You are magic. When you open your hand, it will not be pink. It was, and now it's not. It's white. The brightest, most blinding white you can imagine. Do you believe me when I say that? I need you to trust me. When you open your hand, I am telling you that it will be white. It will illuminate the room you are in because it is so bright. You need to believe this because it is true. Do you trust me? Then open your hand. Good job. The light you're making is even brighter than the lamps. You've mastered the first part of your light spell. Now let's turn it off. Remember that the light is in the palm of your hand. The outside of your hand is still red. So if you close your hand, the light will be contained in your fist. You can close your hand whenever you're ready. Good. The light is gone. Now comes the hardest part. When you next open your hand, you must believe that the light will not be there. You control it, and you have decided to turn it off. Your palm is pink. That's the only color it's ever been. Everything else has been an illusion. Now, when you're ready, open your hand. Very good. Most of my students take a few tries before they succeed. I told you that magic would come naturally. Now for one more trick. Then we'll get you out and presentable to your parents. It will be similar to the light spell in that it too will be a combination of illusion and conjuration. This spell will be complex, but I trust you can handle it. First, allow me to get something to aid us. Ah, a portrait of a lovely royal. Would you say this portrait is accurate? Yes, it is a fine portrait. It truly captures your essence, which is exactly what we wanted. Look at it. Then look at the mirror. You look very different, but some things have remained. Despite its color, your hair is still the same texture and length. Your build has gone largely unchanged and your eyes are still just as human as always. The biggest discrepancies are your new skin tone and your horns, which we can fix. This painting is you, correct? Is that the honest truth? Good. This, this form, this red form, I need you to understand that it too is you. In many ways, it is more than you than this painting is. I need you to accept that. Prove it to yourself. Touch your horns. Feel your skin. Confirm that you are who you see. I know that acknowledging your demonic features can be disheartening, but if you learn to accept them, you may be comfortable enough to simply live with them. 
And if you still don't feel good, then accepting your true form will allow you to produce a false one. So explore yourself. Check to see what things do not exist, even if you have assumed they would. For example, you have no tail. Your teeth are not sharp. You are not the demon you may be imagining. You are yourself. Good. Now look at the painting. The person in this painting is not you. Not anymore. However, if you wish, you could look like them. Do you wish to look as they do? All right. Close your eyes and imagine yourself. Try to see yourself as an outside viewer would. Do not embellish any details. Imagine everything exactly as it currently is. Good. Now open your eyes. Look at this painting. It is of a noble. You don't know them, and you've never seen them before. They are not you. You know what you look like, and it is not them. Acknowledge that. What is different between the two of you? Itemize it. Try to overlap the two of you in your mind and see exactly where the discrepancies lie. Do you have all of them? Good. Close your eyes. Reject all outside stimuli. Imagine them and imagine yourself side by side. Now I want you to think long and hard about which of these two figures is you. Is it the one with a more demonic appearance? Yes, sweetie, I should have been more clear. I know that my statement is true, but this is an illusion magic. And a big part of illusion magic is lying. Lying to everyone. Including yourself. I know I spent all of this time establishing that the red you is the real you, but if you wish to change forms, then you must reject what I've said. Deny what you know. That red form is not real. It never was. You were stressed and you tricked yourself. You aren't monstrous. You never have been. Erase that red form from your minds and cling to the one you saw in the painting. It is real. It is true. Do you believe me when I say that? Do you believe it when you tell yourself? Remember the lights in your hand. It happened because you believed and stopped when you no longer had faith in it. This is the same. You are human. You are normal. And you must trust that when you open your eyes, the person in the mirror will be the old you and no one else. You have to trust yourself. Open your eyes. Little Royal. <laughs> Looks like you're back to your normal self. I will give you a warning though. If you ever stop believing that this is how you look, then it will all be true. A similar problem will occur when you sleep. Right now your conscious mind has updated your personal perception of yourself. You will stay this way because your conscious mind has commanded it so. Even if you are not actively trying to change your appearance, a small portion of your focus is being constantly consumed to render this illusion. Now I'd like to remind you of all the ground we have covered. You look like yourself. You have a few new tricks to show any friends, and if anything ever gets out of hand, well... You have a breathing exercise to calm you down. You are in no danger from yourself or anyone else. With all that in mind, I would like to restate our new favorite motto. I am in control. Very good. As long as you hold that to be true, it will be so. But unlike your appearance, it is not an illusion. This magic is yours and you control it as long as you are sure that you can. And if you are ever losing control, you know what to do. Well then, I'd say that's a job well done for me. Let's get the new, calm you, to your parents. 
I'm sure they'll be delighted to see how far you've come in just a few minutes. After you, little royal. <laughs> Wow, that was a long one. That was a big one. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I got a couple of follows while I was reading that. Toka, Toka, the subby boy. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Wolf family. Our listener is a half demon, half human, yes. So I was a demon and the human became half demon. So I was just teaching him how to control his magic and his appearance. It was very lore heavy. That was really interesting. It's very lore heavy. I liked it. Thank you for the follow, Soul Abstentia. Welcome to the Wolf family. Welcome, Winter Saturn. Welcome, welcome. You are all new members of the Wolf family. We are wolves here. Sapphire. Sapphire, thank you. you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Katsu Tatsuki. Stelsias. And Creature Dragon. Thank you so much for the followers. Welcome to the wolf family, everybody. Everybody, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. It did feel a little bit like um, Karate Kid, didn't it? What was it? Wax on, wax off? No. Wasn't it? And the painting. Up and down. <laughs> I was reading a, a script to everybody. While I do the scripts, though, I um, try to keep it going. So that's why I don't respond right away. But I am happy to see such lovely new faces. Welcome. I just kind of wanted to keep the rhythm going while I read. That's all. I just don't want to break character, you know? I don't want you guys to get confused. Can I read the transcript of Mirror next? That sounds lewd. Soku, you want me to read something lewd? That's what you want me to read. It never says the age limit of the ro little royal. Well, all of the characters that um, I read from are 18 plus. They are all 18 plus. Even the script writers themselves claim that all their scripts are 18 plus. I mean, the script says it, so cool. Hello? The script says it. That one was a long one for me, though. I like, um, I want to find, like, like a, a shorter one, maybe. Oh, 
Oh, here, yeah, there's a character in Mira that says a certain character is 19. Would you like to see that character? Mirror is a lewd game, so cool. You just want me to read something lewd. Once again, that was really good. If you did some of these for YouTube, I would love to listen to them there. I, I, I would like to do that exploded. I actually, I put my YouTube or my last week's VOD on YouTube for ASMR, like my first ASMR one. I don't know if this works. Oh, it does. Cool. Um, but I put last week's VOD on there. I'll put this week's VOD on there over the weekend. And maybe I'll try to do some, once I get the box, so that I can really get rid of the background noise, I will, um, or at least lessen the background noise. I'll, uh, try to maybe do some off-stream recordings. I just really like, um, I like reading them on stream, seeing your guys' reactions. But I know I should do some YouTube ones, too. I drink all my water. If you're interested, thank you, I explode in. You can check out last week's VOD as well. I don't think I read as many scripts last week as I did this week, though. I think I read a little bit more this time. I found so many good ones. So many good ones. But I do want to find more, like... I found, like, I like it's the demon ones I did last week. Um... Maybe something like, I like fantasy, vampires, demons. The fey one was really cute though, I did like the fey one that I read earlier. Ayato. Hello Ayato. What other, um, what if Tat were to tell me what kinds of, um, stories you like, Tat? That's what I was trying to ask. <laughs> Um, do you like fantasy? Do we like, um, more like slice of life? Like, couples? Um, do we like darker stuff? I read one earlier today where I kidnapped Chad and tied them up in my basement. <laughs> That was an interesting one. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of these that are that are pretty nice. Hmm. Let's see. What's with that emote, so cool?
I want to find like a shorter one, one that's not quite as long as that one. There is one that I haven't read yet that was on my list. It's an assassin one. And chat is my target. However, it twists and it ends up being a romance instead. It looks kind of cute maybe i can do that one because it's not it's not very long so that's that is nice but i think it's just long enough to be a good a good one what else i found another script actually that um I will not read because I think I should save it. It's an Ulu speak script. And it's a script someone wrote that is like almost entirely in Ulu speak. And I was like, maybe this is this is a way I can torture myself with chat at a later date. Assassins need unity. <laughs> but Black Flag's where it's at. Actually, Ezio was my favorite, but Black Flag was really good. <laughs> Howdy, Tsupakamura. Welcome, welcome. The stream is going really well. I've been reading a lot of scripts to my chat. Giving them nice, comfy, cozy vibes, I hope. Jeff. Welcome. Welcome, Jeff. Welcome to the Wolf family. Thank you so much for the follow. I hear there's this great Kadex Loki script. Can you read that? Um, that's a fan fiction. Not a script, so I can't read it. Okay, so we check. There's a few types of scripts I dislike. My favorite types are normally either the more intimate, comfy type, or ones that are a bit dark, yandere. Oh. See, I want to get better at yandere. I want to practice my yandere. I didn't even know they were making a new Assassin's Creed, though I haven't heard anything. Is that the new name of it? Skull and Bones? It's new. <sighs> so I found this. This one's really short, but it's a Yandere script of jinx from league of legends and it's supposed to be jinx from arcane the netflix show anyone seen arcane i could do this one this one might be kind of interesting I really liked Arcane. It was really, it was really good show. The Skull and Bones is Black Flag without Assassin's Creed. Oh, I wonder how that will be. Hopefully, it's good.
This, um, this jinx script is about how you, chat, the listener, you had a crush on Jinx back when she was, she was young. However, you haven't seen her since the big explosion that happened a few years ago. You never expected that when you meet her again, it would be because she kidnaps you. Should I try it? If you haven't seen Arcane, there might be like some things that don't make sense, but it's pretty short anyway. It's kind of a... It's kind of cute and a little intimate, so... So hopefully, you like it. Let me put it in... My scripts list. Okay. <laughs> Shall we try it? You have currently been kidnapped, chat. But I promise I'll be gentle with you. It gives me an excuse to practice some of my yandere. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Let us do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, well, look who just woke up. Rise and shine, sweet cheeks. Oh, you're a little groggy. <sighs> Maybe I went a little overboard with that hit. I checked, though, you, you aren't bleeding, so you should be okay. No, 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 Jinx. My name is Jinx now. But I can see how you can be confused. We haven't talked in years. You're even more beautiful than I remember. I always thought so, even when we were kids. What have you been up to? How come I haven't seen you around? Have you been avoiding me? I hope not. I would have loved to see you. Hmm? I'm not that surprised, actually. You were always pretty smart. You know, it's funny. <laughs> it took me almost dying and getting shot up full of shimmer to finally find you again. I thought about this moment for a while, you know? I don't think I like that way you're looking at me, though. Is it the pink eyes? I think they're pretty, don't you? And how about this setup? I even made food for a tea party. Well, it's not much of a party now, but it will be soon. Hey, hey. Don't struggle. I don't want the ropes to cut your pretty skin. I tried to be as gentle as I could with you, so don't make me mad, please. 
They're already telling me that this isn't a good idea. Oh, don't worry about them. They're joking. Of course this will go well. I dreamt about it for a while now. And now that you're here with me. I hope it all goes well. <sighs> okay. Here goes. I like you. There. I like you. I love you. I have ever since we were kids. Well, that was not as scary as I thought it'd be. <laughs> what? What? What's wrong? I thought you'd be happy to hear it. You love me too, right? You always looked at me like... Like I was sunshine when we were kids. What's changed? Don't you feel the same? Do you... Have someone else? You moved on. Is that it? Who are they? I mean... <clears throat> who are they? Anyone I know? Do they make you happy? There's no one? Well, why aren't you saying it back? You wouldn't lie to me, would you, sweet cheeks? Why are you flinching away? Oh, I get it. You're just shy. Oh, that's so cute of you. Don't worry. You don't have to respond right away. I still have some guests to bring. You can tell me all about how much you love me then. <laughs> um. That was cute, right? That was a short one. Thank you so much for the follow. Senor Pareto. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Wolf family. And thank you for the stretch. I have officially run out of water. Should I do some, try some sounds for you, chat? I realize I haven't done any sounds for you yet. In a while, at least, I got too excited doing the, the scripts. How about I do a couple sounds and then I can go get some more water. Let me just adjust my mic real quick. I'm just gonna get water so I'm not actually going to leave, technically. Okay. I will try my best.
When am I putting the mic in my mouth? I'm going to momentarily turn off my noise gate. Let's see how you like these sounds. <laughs> so good. that one myself but it sounds pretty so I was hoping it sounded nice ID ID for RKN Crazy Z Welcome Thank you so much for the Welcome to the Wolf family Trying to learn what sounds people like to hear. I know some have said they like tapping. Mouth sounds. Someone said I should try purring, but I don't know how to purr. I have to learn how to purr. I'm not sure how you do it. So I, I try to um I try to take the objects that I have and just make sounds that have seemed nice to me. 
But if I turn all my filters off, there's a lot of background noise. So I hope I can uh, alleviate that soon so it won't be so bad. But I hope you like it, Dad. Do you mind if I go get some more water? I need some more water. It was fine so far. Oh, it's good then. I'm, I'm hoping it was okay, Thieke. I'm just going to refill my water, and I will be right back, and we will do more, okay? I will be right back. Okay, I will keep it up exploded.
I am back. Don't worry. It was just for like five minutes, not even. Let me try this again. I just really needed more water or I was not going to be able to make it. You were not abandoned. <laughs> that doesn't start with S, sir. Do you like it better when I do sounds with the dual audio, the left and right audio, or is this better? It's, I'm, I'm still getting used to the dual audio. I'm not, I'm not quite used to it yet. Like it from side to side. Okay. It's not loud enough. Okay, I'll take my mic up. I just have to be really careful not to hit anything. afraid if I hit too loud, it'll be too loud. Does it sound better though? The sounds, I hope, sound louder.
I have to actually turn the noise cut off for this one. Do some. another type of fabric that I had.
Okay, I'll talk a little, a little now, yeah. You said it sounded okay though, chat. I hope it sounded okay. I get worried if I turn off my noise gate, there's going to be too much background noise. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. I wanted to read another script for you, Chan. I just found a, an isekai script. There's an isekai one. <laughs> oh my god. Is it lewd, is it okay? Probably not. Usually they say if the stories are NSFW. Is it a Kai? Oh my god. Drew, please, please, please. There's ah, Serviche. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, there is an NSFW one in here. But this looks this has a this is about spiders. I don't want I don't want this. I don't, I don't, I don't want a spider. A spider. <laughs> so glad I caught you. I thought I followed earlier, but my cell died. Welcome back, Ayosori, and I'm happy you came back. <laughs> I'm trying to make ASMR like a weekly thing. But I also do play games as well. So I'll probably be playing some games tomorrow. And Friday and Saturday as well. I have a collab on Saturday. Um, but yeah, I want to make ASMR at least like a weekly thing if I can. Because I very much enjoy it and I need like streams like these where I can just relax. I can't hear you when you're not screaming. <laughs> yeah, but then you tell me that you're, the cops are going to be called because I'm screaming too loud. I'll hit the hay. Good night, people. Have a good night, Daj. Get some rest. Kill all the spiders, they mustn't go on. Spiders scare me. I try to just like leave them in their corners, but 
but sometimes they come into my field of vision and I don't like it. I fell asleep, sorry. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. You gotta rest too, Snaker. I'll kind of take that as a compliment, I hope. I found this one, it seems kind of cute. But this is like full on deco. Get not nice goosed on. That sounds dirty. Am I gonna be clean after? Atsushi? Doesn't sound like I'm gonna be clean after. <laughs> if you have viewers falling asleep, it means your ASMRs win. <gasps> you guys. That makes me happy. <laughs> I'm I'm hoping it's good. I'm hoping you're liking it. I don't know what it means to get goosed on at sushi. I don't know what that means. Oh god, this is full uwu. Nope. <laughs> nope. Hmm. Um, so I hope that I can... I can give you a comfy, cozy place where you can sleep. If I keep doing it, I might, I might do it more, more summer. Then during the week, if, um, If I feel like I can, if you guys like it enough, I can maybe do it more. Geese, ducks, and seagulls are all evil. <laughs> Geese are definitely evil. Seagulls like to take my food. Ducks like to take my food too, but they can be kind of cute. They're probably the only one that can be cute. I'm gonna keep playing games. I still like playing games, so good don't worry. I'll be playing games this week. Hmm. You should do ASMR every day, it's decided. <laughs> I like doing it. I feel like my voice is still getting used to it though. I didn't realize how like strangely difficult it would be to keep my voice softer. Not that it's like 
Like, how do I normally talk? I normally, I guess I do talk softly. Everyone says I talk softly when I stream. But I guess maybe it's because I'm actively thinking about it while I do ASMR that it feels harder. I don't know, it's weird. But I do very, very much enjoy this. So I definitely want to keep doing it. I just hope I don't run out of uh, scripts to, um, to read to you. <laughs> Balak, welcome back. Hi, hi. Where did I put my glasses? I'm just going to put my glasses on. Like, um, I like playing different kinds of games. So I play like Lost Ark and Gotcha Games. And quite a few other games actually, so I do still want to play games sometimes. You're gonna hibernate now. Get some rest, Ayo Sorin. Thank you for coming back. I hope you sleep well. Let me... Let me find a script for you, Chath. This is the assassin one that I was going to read earlier. So... What is it? What is it about? Hello, reserved. Hi, 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 hi. I'm about to read a new script, reserved. I just want to let you know the synopsis, John. So what happened is. It's late at night. On a moonless night in an unknown sky. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Reserve. Welcome to the Wolf Family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Um, the listener, which is you, chat. You have been sleeping nice and soundly in your bed. But something has roused you from your sleep. As you open your eyes, you begin to make out a figure standing in the deepest shadows next to your bed. So I am the assassin. I have come to hunt you. However, there might be a slight change of plans, okay? You'll just have to wait and see. Just remember that when I read the scripts, I won't be able to interact with chat until I'm done, okay? But I promise I will catch up in chat after. I think this still calls that. 
Her red form. Okay. Let us begin then, shall we? Trying to run when I'm this close is unwise. Who I am is not nearly as important as what I am. What I am is the assassin hired to eliminate your existence. I won't harm you against running again. If you choose to run, I will hurt you. Very good. Thank you for your cooperation. As a reward, I'll tell you now that I have no intention of harming you. I would not have wakened you to perform a hit. That would be terribly inefficient. As an adds unnecessary, unpredictable variables. <laughs> Though you have absolutely no say in this, I am pleased you approve of my decision to spare you. Obviously, I do require something from you, however. I would not be here otherwise. I need for you to tell me who ordered the contract on your life and why. I'm certain you can reduce the answer given time. Since we may be here a while, I'll make myself comfortable. Slide over, please. I intend to be comfortable. Your bed is the most agreeable piece of furniture to rest upon. Though your lap looks cozy as well. Or perhaps you'd like to sit on my lap? <laughs> <laughs> Please spare me your speeches on propriety. Do I seriously seem like the type who'd care for societal rules? If you would rather not be touched, I will respect that. However, I am sitting on this bed. Now that it is settled, I feel I must explain my business practices somewhat. Like any who are talented at their trade, I have the luxury of deciding to reject a content contract at any time. There are far more contracts than I could ever perform in my lifetime. Well, Yes, I suppose that is a distressing thought. I've never really pondered it. I do, however, put much thought into which contracts I accept. Mindless, useless killing is beneath me. If I agree to a job, I want to be sure the target's absence from the world would be more beneficial than their presence. I also ensure the intel I'm given on them is correct. What's so surprising about it? Most individuals have core values and ethics, with the exception of the severely mentally ill, of course. Now, no more interruptions, please. Here, have another pillow to put around you. Comfortable? Good. Now, the anonymous person or group who hired me to take care of you gave me a falsified file. When I checked the accuracy, I realized that while the basic personal data was accurate, the rest appeared to be fabricated. Well, for instance, the file listed your occupation as lead researcher for a chemical company developing deadly nerve agents. 
<laughs> you don't have to convince me of anything. I did my research. I know you work in retail during the week and wait tables on the weekends. You have no ties to the mob, no arrests, only one minor traffic ticket, and you have no known enemies. If you're such a hopeless introvert, not many people even know you exist. <laughs> Whoa there, tiger. I'm not trying to insult you. Introverts in sweats with bedheads are adorable. They're so quiet, snuggly and sweet. The world needs more of them if you ask me. If you're finished being small and fierce for now, I still need to know why anyone would suddenly want you gone. Did you see something you shouldn't? Maybe you had a fender bender with a shady character? Did you... I don't know... spit in someone's food at any time? I realize when working in customer service, you're to witness the worst aspects of humanity. I have no doubt you've been treated quite cruelly and threatened on more than one occasion. Is there any particular instance where you felt more endangered than at any other time? Ah, oh, a man in a suit at the big box store where you work? Well, that's promising. What did this gentleman say and in what context? He waited until you were leaving work to approach you? I see. Do go on. The man told you calmly in an almost conversational tone to ensure your affairs were in order because you wouldn't live to see the next month. What on earth did you do to inspire such a vengeful rage? Beg your pardon? You ditched him? Oh, yes, I see. Screeton attempted to bully you into providing a custom television not sold by your place of work. Despite your expl explanation and a suggestion on an establishment which would have the item in stock, the man continued to harass and berate you. Seeing the interaction going nowhere, you pretended to search the stockroom again and avoided the man until he left the shop. That's a rather unhinged reason for an assassination. Describe this man to me. Did he have any distinguishing features? Hmm. That's a bit basic for an individual's description. Do something for me, darling. I want you to close your eyes and concentrate. That's it. Very good. Focus. Not on the customer's behavior, but on the details of his appearance. Pretend you're painting a portrait of the man. Let your mind's eye travel over his visage and make note of any details which stand out. You've thought of something? Wonderful. A gold pinky ring with a skull and a serpent. Was the serpent wound through the eye sockets of the skull? Did this man also have any light scars on his face? So he had a small, jagged scar below his left eye. Well, congratulations, my dear. You managed to anger the most prominent mafioso in this region. The Don, in fact. Indeed, it is rather serious. Though I don't understand why he was doing the shopping. 
Perhaps his underlings were having trouble with his rather specific request as well. Regardless, this presents a dilemma. I could absolutely eliminate the Don. I doubt many would miss him. The man is impulsive, childish, and has no control over his temperament. However, his weakness as a leader is exactly why it is beneficial to leave him in power. The mob won't be at full strength with him as the head. You don't deserve to die, so that leaves only one option. You must be removed to a location where neither the Dawn or his associates will find you. I realize a sudden move to a new and unfamiliar region may not be ideal. Really? You're behaving poorly and I would ask you to stop flailing and kicking. I will not make you do anything. I'm no puppet master. Cease your tantrum immediately or I will walk away now. I absolutely will leave you to your devices if you behave like a small child. I would like to keep you safe as you are, an absolutely precious human being, but I need your cooperation in order to do that. Don't mumble at me. Darling, use your words, please. I have two solutions. For your consideration, actually. I can help you fake your demise and relocate to a safer location. You'll have to adopt a new identity, of course, but it's an opportunity to choose the name you've always wanted. I'll place you in your new life and disappear as if I never existed. Alternatively, you could come with me. I would welcome the opportunity to learn more about you. You could stay at the villa on my private island while I work. I won't lie, it's an enormous risk being associated with me. For that very reason, I tend to avoid letting others get close. I find myself so drawn to you that I feel I must extend the offer. It may be selfish of me to hope you'll accept, but I've been in the business of dirty deeds so long that I no longer care. If I didn't mean it, I wouldn't say it. Don't be ridiculous. I wouldn't be in this business long if I had made this offer to all of my targets. While you may not see anything special in yourself, I see many fascinating features. Like what? Hmm, your varied taste in music is one aspect of you I find interesting. I discovered tonight that your sleeping face is also quite precious. Also, the soft, Submissive way you say sorry <laughs> just melts my frozen heart. My favorite aspect of your personality is how strongly you feel about helping others in need, especially the vulnerable. You call yourself weak, but weakness is not what I see in you. Darling, I may be an assassin, but I'm no liar. You're doing it again. The self-deprecating. I don't know who crushed you emotionally when you were younger, but you didn't deserve it then, and you don't deserve it now. You deserve the kindness you extend so willingly to others. 
sweetie, in my humble opinion, you deserve far more. Oh, I've become quite biased when it comes to you, I'm afraid. Uh, uh, I'm not very adept at this, but would you like for me to embrace you? This is wonderful and very soothing. You are indeed very cuddly, darling. Oh, I could do this for hours. However, dawn is approaching and I must press you for your decision. It's a life-changing decision, I'll grant you. I'll make it easier. Should you choose to come with me and we find we aren't compatible, the first offer to relocate you still stands. Of course, darling. Love and care are verbs requiring conscious decision, not emotional trifles. I would like to know you're safe, whether our lives are intertwined or we pass like ships in the night. I'm insulted, really, that you'd take me for some obsessive creeper who simply toss you aside after the newness faded? <sighs> I forgive you. Of course. You're far too precious for me to stay annoyed. You will? Darling, I'm delighted. We will leave immediately, and I will take care of shipping any possessions which hold sentimental value to you. The rest of your belongings will tragically be lost to the mysterious fire which will consume your apartment. It will be contained to your apartment alone, don't worry. Waste not, remember? The only life lost will be your own identity. Out with the old, in with the new. Well, and the medical cadaver I purchased as well. The less you know, the better, sweetie. Here, allow me to help you up. Just wrap yourself in your bathrobe. I'll give you my card to shop online later. We must leave as many of your old belongings as possible. Now, shall we depart? What did we think? I liked that one, actually. <laughs> that was a good one. Nikolai. Nikolai. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Osher Hush. Osher Hush, welcome. Welcome to the Wolf family. Your voice is so smooth. <laughs> Thank you, Exploding. You couldn't give me a TV I wanted, you're gonna die? <laughs> that was a little random. Oh my god, Angel, I fell asleep and you're still going? You're so cute. Oh, Pierre. Welcome back. Good job, Angel. When you say darling, I tingle. <laughs> darling. It was a cute one. I liked it. That was cute. <laughs> How many have I done today so far? I did the Liberian and the Assassin. I feel like I've done more than the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I've done 7, right? Which means I'm missing one from this list. 
I guess you could say you have a way with your words. <laughs> I would hope so. I can't believe it's almost midnight. How late is it for you, Jeff? It's like almost midnight for me. That was a good one. I'm gonna head out. Thanks for the stream. Thank you, Explosion. Thank you for your kind words, and I hope you enjoyed it. If I don't get to do more ASMR this week, I will definitely do some next Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay? I promise. Honestly, staying in a private island villa would be awesome. I'd swim all the time. I want to live on a private island, please. So badly. Have super fast internet, a pool, doggies, games, everything. And I'd be happy. It's 12.44 a.m. Oh, you're in Canada, eh? Canada. We get some people from Canada in here. It's almost one for you, too. Have a good night, the explosion. Mommy Fox going to Forsaka soon? Mommy Wolf Bear? You're supposed to call me a wolf, huh? Drew, you're in Canada, eh? Canada, eh? Oh, so you must be on the west coast. You're actually two hours behind me, I think. I can... I can try another one. Yes, you got the mommy right. Oh, we got people in the West Coast. West Coast, Best Coast. But I kind of like the East Coast. I'm from the East. I'm just not there now. Oh my gosh. Shy. Shy, are you gonna give me followers? Oh gosh. Sorry, Shy. Bye bye. I'm gonna teleport to you. You're gonna teleport to me? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Sucking Tom Cruise's toes. Oh my god. I can't, I can't laugh. I can't laugh. I'm gonna laugh too loud. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. What should I call you? Sucking? No, Tom? I call you Tom. <laughs> Kat, can you read someone for me? Her name is Marshy and her hair is made of cotton candy. Is Marshy streaming today? What? Oh no, wait. Marshy's. Marshy streams Tuesday, Wednesday. My brain just doesn't work. Uh, Tom Cruise really has good toes. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not much of a, of a toes person. <laughs> you can call me Tom, okay. I'll call you Tom. Now that's a name I remember. <laughs> I 
I've seen a lot of interesting names lately. People pushing, pushing the boundaries on their names. But this is the first time I've seen someone sucking toes. <laughs> Welcome. I'm looking for a script to read, to chat. I don't know what I would like to read though. I think I read most of the scripts today. There's one I haven't read, but it's like really long. I might save that for another day. Hmm. an eldritch one you could be an eldritch terror chat <laughs> hmm I'll try to read one more, I think. But I think I'm starting to possibly lose my voice a little bit. It's a little bit. So I hope you'll forgive me, Tad, for only doing one more. But I promise I will keep doing ASMR. A first the first awakening is near. My gosh, I'm not gonna like. I'm not forsaking you. I'll be back. I'll be back. I promise. Just I'll be back tomorrow. Angel, you need a power bottom? What? Oh my god, bear. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you so much for the follow, Ben. Ben Pisaamba. Ben Pisaamba. Welcome to the wall, Ben. Who is this, shall I? I thought you wanted me to read Marshy. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. This is news to me. Is it really my birthday today? I didn't know that. Can't even talk in that person's chat because they have the verified account thing turned on. Can't say Fox Read. Oh, really? It lets me chat though. Are you sure it's okay? I guess I'm verified. 
He's really cool though, in Elite Gamer, she's Bronze on Valorant or something. How come when I was Bronze on Valorant, you didn't say I was an Elite Gamer? Huh? You were silver? I was silver? Not bronze level? So I'm at a higher level is what you're telling me? Phil <gasps> Why are you so mean? Uh... Yeah, mommy, Wolfie, so it verifies you anyway. I figured um, it would do that because I have to like in order to sign in, I have to do it. <laughs> or in order to sign into my my Twitch account, I have to do it. I wish I could find one that, um, was like, a lot of the ones that I'm finding are, um, still fantasy ones, and I like fantasy. But I want, like, a slice of life, slice of life one. Do we want a slice of life one tap? I want mommy to crush me. Just know ASMR stream isn't safe from the naughties. Is my stream ever safe from the naughties though? <laughs> You're always little naughties. Little naughty gremlins. Oh my glass chata. You've been amazing today. We almost reached. 2.3. Kai, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. I've been really enjoying the ASMRs. The streams. I want, I'm going to be uploading the VODs for anyone interested. I'll upload them to my YouTube so you can check out at least the full VODs if you're interested so that they won't disappear. Do you think even me? Of course, darling. You come and lurk and hang out. Of course I would thank you. Lurks are appreciated as well. You're too good for ASMR sometimes. <laughs> I'm too good. I think you flatter me, Sarah. Cat thanks me with beatings. That's because you tease me. Because you tease me. Cat thanks me by degrading me. You make it seem like I'm, I'm, I'm just stepping on you all the time, chat. Is that what I'm doing? I'm just stepping on you all the time. I feel like we have, um, like, our moments where I'm not always stepping on you. Cat called me stinky, but I know stinky. That's because you called me stinky first, Jolly. And I'm not the one who's stinky here. You are. You are. I 
I shower and I smell great. Wait, who has stinky grippers? Because it's not me. <gasps> That's not true, subscriber. That is not true. I'm actually just... I smell like lavender and flowers. Okay, I put lavender lotion on after I shower. And I smell like lavender and flowers. And it's just really nice. It is not stinky. Jolly, stop trying to make chat think that I'm stinky, okay? I don't want to be another bottom chat. <laughs> is that a big thing? Are there a lot of, uh, a lot of top streamers? That you run into thick. We trade places of anything. I'm always top that we never bought them. But how are we trading places then? Cat is also a top bottom. What does that mean though? That I can be both? That is that what that means? Too late we're all power bottoms. <laughs> hey, it's okay. I'll take care of you even if you're bottoms. Marshy is a top bottom. But I'm also a top bottom. So they must switch places depending on coin flips. So it's like a RNG kind of thing. So I could be always top or always bottom is what you're saying. Cat to me is a top. She's dummy mommy. She can cuff me anytime. I'll try not to make it too tight. <laughs> I think I, I actually found a, a script this time. <laughs> one more script chat. I found a good one that I liked. Okay. Script. Script time. Just remember that I'm, while I read the script, I'll interact with the chat after I'm done, okay? So this one is about, I am making amends with my academic rival. So, I'll be... Smarty Pants 1, and Chad will be a Smarty Pants 2, okay? <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't, I can't, I can't scream. If I scream, if I scream, I'm gonna hurt everybody's ears. Oh my god. Oh my god, we need a shout out, a shout out for the lovely Miyuni. Oh my god, Miyuni. Thank you. Thank you for the raid. Thank you so, so very much for the raid. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So many faces. So many faces. Wait, I want to see. I want to see. <gasps> Is that your current model? Is that your current model, Miyuni? 
She looks so cute, your hair. See, I like that hairstyle. I like pink and purple hair too. I do that for my model sometimes too. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, everybody. Hello, hello. My name is Varial. Varial Eclair. Varial Angel Eclair. I am a wolf VTuber. And I am diving into the world of ASMR. I'm, I'm still feeling my way through it. I'm still learning as I go. So, I, um, I've been doing ASMR role-playing a lot. <laughs> so I, I read scripts to chat. And I've been enjoying it very, very much. Thank you so much, Miyuni. Thank you so very much for the wonderful rain. I want to catch up with all these lovely new faces that are following me. I, I will call you out. It's Miyuni. Thank you so much for the follow as well. Welcome to the Wolf family. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Mia is so sweet, but it's probably from all the brownies. Are we talking about I am special brownies or are these special brownies we're talking about or just uh, clean brownies? <laughs> Thank you, Miyuni. Welcome to the wolf family. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, so many cute faces. Okay, Nori Eta, BML, Action Based. Her Gradu, Ugradu, Gerard, Gerard. I'm sorry, English is hard for me. <laughs> Batman for President, Imen77, Manalag, <laughs> Fornhub, <laughs> J. Kun, Goober, Goober TV. Alan Kurt. I hope I said that right. A14N C3R. Garukan. Desuyo. MN Philistine. And the Zestiest Nugget. Oh my god, I want nuggies. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for the follows. Welcome to our little wolf family. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, you. Trail. 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 Thank you for the gifted sub. I'm trying not to scream. Thank you. Thank you for the gifted sub to Miyuni. I hope you like it, Miyuni. Enjoy my, my cute little emotes and the subby banjo. I hope you enjoy your subby. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. Mad Hunter. Mad Hunter. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are all new members of our wolf family. Our wolf pack. Wait for the spider to climb. Hello from French Canada. We've got a lot of Canada today. Canada, eh? Monologue. Just normal brownies? Okay, okay, they're normal brownies. That's good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miyone. Thank you for the hydrate to men. I need that, actually. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So you actually rated just in time because I was going to do another script. I was just explaining what the script was about to chat. Just Alan is okay? Okay. Welcome, Alan. Welcome. Jolly, you, did you unfollow and follow me back? <laughs> First time here. 
Welcome, Dali. I hope you have a good stream. Thank you, Miyuni. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. Uh, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you so very, very much. I hope you have good rest, get good food, and that you have a good rest of your night. Get some sleep. I hope you sleep well. Sweet dreams. Thank you, sir. I'm very new here and I've never seen such a weird animal. Are you saying I'm a weird animal? I'm not. I'm a pristine wolf. Wolf girl. Very pristine. Okay. French is your second language. Oh, you speak French, but English is your second language. I see you. I tried to learn French, actually. I took some French in high school, but I was very bad at it. I'm bad at learning new languages, but I'm trying. All I remember. Comment allez-vous? Je vais bien. Je vais ma. I think. Comme si, comme ça. I remember that. That's all I remember. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Welcome to the Wolf Family. The cat's a stinky gamer who doesn't shower. Support her so she can take showers and not be stinky. I take showers every day, so maybe you should take a look in the mirror first. Nice accent. Thank you, monologue. I don't really use French very much, but I'm learning Spanish, so I try to use similar accent. <laughs> oh, Alex. Alex with the pities for the bitty committee. Thank you so much, Alex, uh, for the 20 biddies, for the itty bitty t itty bitty committee. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. <laughs> Cat's a cute fox, but you know what's gonna happen? I'm her power bottom, so means I'm gonna be punished by saying she's a fox. Yes, you are, sir. No, just. I mean, you just have to be prepared. You decided to call me a fox. You know what that means. Let me just find the hammer. Just gotta go in my box and find the hammer now. You want me to say what I meant? This is a totally say-so stream. Totally say-so, Alex. I'm a 100% say-so streamer. We don't talk about it. I mean, um, we don't, we don't talk about the booba. We don't talk about the booba. Not at all. We don't talk about jiggle physics of the booba. I disappear for an hour and your viewer count jumped to 180. I am very blessed today. I'm getting so many wonderful reads. You're all so amazing. I want to read a script for you. I'm this one that I found. <gasps> Alex Alex with the subby Thank you for the subby Alex Welcome 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you Thank you so much for the subby Alex <sighs> Fine 
we got more itty, we got more biddies. We got more biddies for the itty bitty titty committee. There you go. <laughs> <gasps> Sir VJ Sir VJ with the hundred biddies <laughs> Thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you Thank you so much uh, I'm trying not to be loud, Chad I'm trying not to <laughs> Can you put your elbows together? I bet it makes a cool ASMR sound This is a bait, isn't it? This is a bait. You can put your elbows together. I'm gonna get baited. Oh my god, I'm done. I see what you're doing there. I see what you did. I see what you did, Thick. <laughs> it's not a scam train, Sir VJ. It's not. It's a hype train. Hype, 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 hype. <laughs> Freggy, welcome back, Freggy Kun. Foxy mommy got to be the wolfy mommy. Nice meeting you, Angel. Have a great stream. Thank you, Batman. You have a, a good rest of your night, okay? I'm, like I was saying before, I'm, I'm new to the ASMR thing. I am, this is my second ASMR stream. I really like to do ASMR role playing, so I'll like read the scripts and stuff. But I, I try to do some sounds and triggers that people have told me about. Um, so I'm trying to do ASMR like once a week until I get more used to it. And then I, I would like to try more. Wolf Mommy has a great chest pillow for ASMR sleep. It's a nice pillow, isn't it, Alex? Have a good night, Jolly. You take care of yourself, okay? Get some rest. See you next, city. Welcome. Welcome to the Wolf Family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. When is the screaming stream? I need to find some earplugs. I don't have a screaming stream, but sometimes I scream if I get scared. But I have to not scream on ASMR day because it'll be really bad. Everyone's gonna lose, lose their ears. Um, I read so many scripts today, everyone. If you would, I, if you would like to hear the others that I did, I'm gonna upload the VOD to my YouTube if you're interested. But I, I can try to do one. I'm gonna do another one now. <laughs> no, no shipping spiders. Thank you very much. I can't, I can't woof too loudly. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. I have to whisper it or it's going to be too loud. Oh, whoop. Wow. One, one. Right. Wait, don't look, but Teresa wall behind you. Teresa wall. Teresa wall. Teresa wall. 
Why don't you get it? If a spider that was as big as my hand came down from the ceiling, I would be so far gone you would never see me again. Oh my gosh, thick, there is a wall, I can't, I can't. I heard in, in like places like Australia, they they have like huge spiders, huge, huge, huge spiders. I can't, I would never, I would never be able to do it. I would die. You'll never catch me, Fergie. You'll never catch me. Big spiders made out of a little spider near your desk? That's even worse. A bunch of tiny, small spiders? No. No, 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 no. They're no. <gasps> Face huggers. That's even worse. Face huggers are awful. Are awful. Are awful. They're terrifying. Nothing scared me more. Than the face huggers. The fact that something would be in my body that did not belong there and was gonna come out of me. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but no, that was not okay. That was terrifying. They still scare me. The whole concept of them is terrifying. We haven't reached the levels of lead ASMR. There are some NSFW scripts in here, but I, I want to go through them first to see how, how much it is. But the script that I was going to read to all of you, I mentioned it earlier. I'm making amends with my academic rival. Uh, rival. So you, it's two high schools, two high school students, and I'll be like high school student one, you'll be high school student two, and I am, we may have been rivals, but it is time to move past that now, chat, isn't it? Australian accents are one of your favorite accents. I do like me an Australian accent. A face hugger injecting fluids into your mouth through your throat is disgusting. It is disgusting. What about a snake or a danger noodle? I mean... I get a little worried. Because snakes can, like, really, 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 really bad, but, or can be. Um, but I'm not as afraid of them as I am with spiders. So, just a reminder, chat, for those who are just joining us, when I read the scripts, I won't interact with chat until I'm done reading the scripts, okay? I promise I'll catch back up in chat though and read all of your comments to the best of my ability. But I just like to keep the flow going for it, you know? So let us see if we go from friends, I mean rivals, to lovers, okay, Chad? Let's see what happens. Van Goku. I watch the moon, let it run my mood. That's a song, isn't it? <laughs> Is it really a song? 
because I would say it sounds familiar. Okay. So I will start the script, okay, chat? I wonder if I should do red for this one. No. I'll do this one. I don't know what that is, Bear. And thank you so much for the follow, Mestian. Welcome to the Wolf family. I'm about to start a script, so I won't interact until I'm done, okay? just to keep the flow going so that chat gets in the mood, okay? Did you just hit me with a D's nuts joke? Bear, you disappoint me. What do you mean in the mood? Like, make sure that they, they stay, they got the image in their head and it doesn't get distracted. What are you thinking, lewd, so cool? <laughs> Alright, Seth, ready? I get a little nervous. <laughs> I get a little nervous when I'm gonna start the scripts. Wolf the Reaper, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Wolf family. Thank you so much for the follow. You're just in time. Get nice and comfy. We're about to start. This script is about two rivals that develop feelings for each other. So I'm rival A and chat is rival B. We're two high school students. Let's see. So we become lovers or enemies? Even more. To, let us find out. If you're interested in reading along or you would like to Uh, just know the scripts that I've been reading today. Um, <laughs> you can check it out there. Okay. All right, I lost it for a second. Okay, I'm good. All right. <clears throat> well, well, well. Look who it is. I've been wondering when I was going to run into you. Well, more like dreading. High school wasn't enough of a chase for you, huh? You just had to follow me all the way into college. Ah. <sighs> And here I was thinking I'd finally be rid of you as soon as I graduated. <sighs> what a farce. Oh yeah? You got into the school all of your own merits and it had nothing to do with me? Give me a break. You spent the past four years one-upping me. I was the best of the best all of my life and then you stepped in. I speak three languages, you speak four. I have a 4.4 GPA, and you have a 4.5. You get the student of the year, and I get runner-up. You just loved it, didn't you? 
watching me struggle to maintain my academic reputation while you just tear through the curriculum like tissue paper. That smug look on your face like it doesn't matter to you. God, I hate it. You may be my rival, but I know you well. And it would be just like you to come to my college just to torment me even more for your own enjoyment. That's what this is about, isn't it? I am not self-centered. Just quit playing dumb and spin it out already. I told you I know you. You don't care about what school name ends up on your degree. You probably would have ended up at a local community college if not here. But here you are. At my dream school, what a coincidence. <sighs> Whatever. Why you're here doesn't matter. I'm not going to shake you off anytime soon, so listen well. You may have stolen my spotlight in high school, but there are no underpaid teachers worshipping anything above the bare minimum, or stupid students to obsess over you and talk about how hot and smart you are or whatever. <laughs> Point is, we're in my territory now. I'm going to own these next four years and leave you in the dust. Just you watch. You won't even know what hit you. <laughs> Serves you, right? Your academic style was never going to survive outside that joke of a school we came from. I was always the better student. And now I have a chance to prove it. Yeah? So what if I got rejected from the school? It was all a mistake anyway because I got in. That doesn't mean that... Wait a... How did you know I got rejected from here on my first application? Only my school and family should know about that. I didn't tell anyone. Not even my closest friends. What? It is too my business. It's 1,000% my business. How did you know? And why do you have that look on your face like you said that on accident? Tell me. I don't want to hear it. Bullshit. Even if I didn't, you still wouldn't keep a secret like that from me. It'll hurt me. What the hell are you even talking about? Besides, you're wrong. Nothing can hurt, nothing can hurt me. I'm bulletproof. Always have been. Good. Now get to explaining. Huh? What do you mean you didn't actually apply to this school? You must have. How did you even get in then? Oh my god. No way. This school? This school contacted you directly and said they wanted you to attend? Is this what you meant when you said it would hurt me? Did you think I'd get all mad that they've reached out to you and not me? Because it's just... You'd be right. That does sting a little. Fuck. That's not the worst part. Oh? No. Keep going. I... I need to know the truth. No matter what it is. So... 
Just let me have it. You rejected their... Sorry. Keep going. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? You rejected their offer, but... You recommended... Me instead? But why? Why would you do that? Yeah, I know I was second best at our school, so I would be the natural next person, but... I mean... Don't you... You know... Hate me? Well, Nayo, I... I guess you never really showed me any signs that you did. Some mildly annoyed faces and eye rolls but that was always in response to me bothering i mean expressing my distaste for you i guess you don't hate me but but still to think that you would recommend me to my dream school Especially after they said they wanted you specifically, I... I just... I can't believe you'd do something like that for me. So... I'm assuming they told you I'd already been rejected at, at that point? Then what? They made you an offer? kind of offer they would reconsider my application if you attended their school wait are you saying the whole reason you ended up going to the school at all is so that I could go too no no you're lying I, I don't believe you I... I can't believe you. How? Why? What, what am I even supposed to make of this? Stop. Stop. Just, just shut up. Just leave me alone. God, why? Why didn't you tell me this before? That this would ruin... <sighs> you did. You told me it would hurt me, and I didn't listen. I just... <sighs> I just need to... Why? Why would you do all of this for me? You could go to any school you wanted to. And came to one that you didn't even apply for just so that I... The person who made the past four years for you a living hell. Just because you were better at me than everything. Why? No, I don't deserve it. Clearly, I... I don't deserve to be here. I got in because of you. I knew it. I knew it every time. You got first and I got second. I'm not good enough. I don't deserve anything. God, I should just rip this jacket off and go right off this campus right now because I don't even deserve to be standing on... 
What was that for? Well, I, I, I guess it, it did work pretty well to get me to stop talking. <laughs> um, I shouldn't put myself down like that. You really think I deserve to be at this school? Like, really, really? <laughs> That's so sweet. God. I was such an asshole for treating you the way I did when you were ready to do something like that for me. I'm... I'm so sorry. No, you, you can't just accept my apology like that. I, I won't let you. I'm better than that. I'll, I'll make it up to you. Let's not get at each other's throats anymore. There's no way we're going to survive this place if we keep that petty rivalry going. Truthfully, I've always imagined that we could be unstoppable if we just worked together instead of against each other. <laughs> yeah, I imagine that our high school is top two. We could be one hell of a tag team. You... You want to be more than a tag team? What do you mean? Well, well, yeah, we did just kiss, but that was like a hey, snap out of it kiss, right? <laughs> right? Oh, oh, yeah, so it was that kiss. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go hide my face in this school brand hoodie now, okay? Hey, are you trying to say that I have a crush on you? Because I don't. I just... <sighs> okay. Maybe I kind of like you. Even though... I want to slap your stupid, gorgeous face sometimes. Seriously, it's not fair how you can be that attractive and also a genius at the same time. But, yeah, I, I would love that actually, to be more than just a tag team. All my life I've been on my own. I told myself I didn't need anyone else. That they would just drag me down, hold me back from my full potential. But the truth is, I'm exhausted. I need someone to hold me and comfort me and tell me everything is alright. <sighs> yeah, I know. Everyone at school always called me the Ice Queen. But I'm a person too. I have a heart. You want me to look at you? What for? Mm -hmm. I would totally scold you again for taking me by surprise, but... God, that felt so good. <laughs> If I'm with you, I think I will be. Let's make each other happy. Not mad, okay?
Well then. What did we think? It's, uh, I liked that one. That one was fun. Let us see. What did I... I, I Jeff! Jeff, I'm sorry. I was in the middle of a script, so I didn't want to stop the flow. But I was reading a script to everyone. I've read lots of scripts today. I've read ones about me being a demon, a kidnapper. <laughs> I'm girl and boy stuff, or even girl and girl stuff. I'm There's been some very interesting ones today. If you want to watch them, if because you, you missed them. I will upload the VOD. I think it like took place maybe outside. I was thinking like outside on like, um, you know, like, the, I used to call it the quad in my university where it was like, this big patch of grass with some trees where everyone would just wait, people would gather and lay down, study, hang out. I, I thought that was what I was imagining. But it doesn't really tell me. Thank you so much for the follow, no game, no life. That anime is amazing, by the way. Why we haven't had a season. A new season is beyond me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, wild geese. Welcome to the wolf family. And Maggie Mauve. Maggie Mayo. Thank you so much for the father. Welcome to the wolf family, everyone. You acting on the surprise kiss was good, was it? I was surprised. <laughs> I tried to do it the best. I wasn't sure if it would be convincing or not. You were the second best at your school. Declined. We'll only accept you if you're the first best. You will decline my offer to, and we will offer to let you in if they accept. Yeah, it's weird, but I mean, some schools are like that, you know? Sadly. Right. My throws are disabled, Maggie. I'm just, I'm just gonna re refund everybody's throws from today, so you can have all of your points back. Um, but my throws are disabled. I'm just refunding everybody's points back to them. There we go. <laughs> but yes, my throws are disabled for today. Same as the sounds. But tomorrow, we will put them back on. So you can save your points for tomorrow. Today has, has been, um, amazing. I'm, I hope that I have been able to give you all, um, a wonderful, a wonderful experience. I'm... I'm going to have to stop here soon though because I need to go feed my puppies. 
I have little puppies to take care of, so I want to make sure that they are fed and happy and healthy. <laughs> so cool. So cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Dari. Dari Airlines. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the Wolf family. I'm thinking I have to go soon. Because I should check on the little ones. It has been a while. I should check on them. Bear, let me give you a compliment. Mm. Let's see. <laughs> you are the cutest little bean bed. And I promise to step on you very, very gently. Okay, just this one time, because you are very, very precious, sweet, little soul, and I hope that you know that, and you never stop being you. Never stop. I just wanted to respond to everything. Nix. Nix Yates. Welcome. Welcome to the whole family. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> step on me lightly. I'll step on you lightly. <laughs> Me Fuentes. Hello. Hi, hi. I very much enjoyed reading these scripts. Do you enjoy them? Chad, you enjoy these scripts, right? Bountiful, bountiful heart, welcome to the channel, thank you so much for the follow, <laughs> welcome to the whole family, I'm still uh, learning my way through it, so I am grateful that you all still spend the time with me. I'm a, I was afraid that it was kind of scuff, or that you might not like it. But you've all been so sweet. I get really, really nervous when I do doing the ASMR stuff, because I want to, I'm new to it, and I want to do a good job for you. So I hope that you really do like it. I do also play games as well, so I'm a bit of a variety streamer. I'll be playing games for the rest of this week, because I have a couple of games planned, um, as well as a collab on Saturday. Um, but I will definitely do more ASMR next week as well. I'll at least make it a weekly thing. So Tuesdays or Wednesdays, I like. I I would like to do it. Koizi, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're a new member of the Wolf family. Thanks, mommy. You're the best wolfy mommy ever. You're welcome, Bear. 
don't fall into bottom chat energy. My chat, as much as they would like to be a top, can sometimes, more times than not, be power bottoms. I think they like to be stepped on. At least that's the impression they've given me sometimes. Like, 75% of the time. Nice stream, your ASMR is really good. It's rare to find people that stream ASMR good. You think so, Alex? So, oh, really? Thank you. I, uh... I, I... I'm really trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I hope I'm doing it okay. Because you guys have been so amazingly sweet to me, so thank you. Me Fuentes. Me Fuentes with the follow. Thank you so much. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Wolf family. I'm so lesbian. <laughs> Well, as long as you're happy, my friend is. <laughs> for me? Is that for me? She loves to step on me. I mean, I only step on chat when they're being naughty. When they call me a fox. And when they tease me, they bully me. I get teased. No. So I gotta put my foot down, you know? I never bully you. Never. I don't know about that. Hmm. I think you're kind of sussy, Soku. You're hella sussy. Good morning, Kira. Did you sleep well, I hope? I hope, I hope. This has been an amazing, amazing day, and I hope that I'll be able to give you all another, a, another good ASMR stream. More and more and more. I slept so good because of your voice. Oh, what? Did you sleep watching the whole stream? Uh, oh, Corpse Daddy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Wolf family. <laughs> hmm. I was... I don't want to leave you guys, but I do want to make sure that our little puppies are safe and healthy and happy. So that's why I want to check on them. Feed the pampers. Yes, yes. Oh. Oh, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
That's cute. I hope you like it, Corpse Daddy. So you made her blush for me. <laughs> I'm, but yes, I'm a bit of a variety streamer, everyone, so you'll probably see me playing a lot of games, and I hope that you don't mind that. I'm a bit of a gamer, but I will add more ASMR, don't worry. If you want to see the whole VOD, you can find it on my YouTube later, later this week. I have last week's VOD up as well. That was my first one. I'm a wolf gamer. Wolf gamer. I howl at the moon. Oh. I can't howl loudly though. That, that won't be ASMR. But I am so incredibly grateful. For all the wonderful raids we got today. We got some raids from Fresh Bali, Amine, and Taro. Thank you. Thank you for letting me meet so many, many new, very cute faces. And I promise I will give you all more. All more. Don't worry. You did a bad? Cat, I may have done a bad. What? What is... What do you do? Cat always does a bad? I do not. I do not. I'm not as bad as chat. Chat likes to be more naughty than me. Hmm. I'm just looking at... Some of the other VTubers on my list. I'm seeing who might be a good to raid. Do we want more ASMR chat or do we want to see my lovely cute bun bun friend? You like spankings? Why? Don't they hurt? Or you like it? Is that what it is? We ain't naughty, we touch elbows, very wholesome. You know you I'm I'm I still I still thought it was innocent until you made me do it. Made me touch my elbows there go. I like big hugs from Wolf Lemmy. All the hugs. All of the hugs. You all have really been so wonderful to me. Thank you for your kind words and just sticking around, spending your time with me. I really, really mean it. It, it means a lot and it makes me less nervous. <laughs> when I know that you all enjoy it. So if you don't enjoy something, please tell me. I want to do more ASMR that you enjoy. Hmm. You were able to touch elbows? I mean, to an extent. 
I was trying. <laughs> but then I, I started to realize exactly why. The positioning that I was putting my arms in. I was like, wait a minute, this pushes things together and up. And I, I started to understand where this was going. <laughs> um. <laughs> True. True. Thank you, it's really all you. <laughs> Nobody's ever, th well, actually, that's not true. I've had one other person draw me cute pictures before, or drawings of my character. Thank you, it's really. I look so cute. No, she's got on. She's smart and cute. I figured it out. You can't get past me. Wolf mommy is the best. So freaking cute. <laughs> I try. I try. Wolf, her wolf senses are dangerous and hot. <laughs> Just had to add a little bit of both. <laughs> I promise to give you I want to, I found so many scripts today if you're if you're interested in seeing them. Um there's some really, really, really wonderful writers who made really awesome scripts, and I liked reading so many of them. Um, I will have plenty more to come. I like doing the, the ASMR scripts role-playing stuff, so I am going, I'll do that more. I will do that more. I promise. That is that is what I enjoy. I like doing the sounds too. I do like doing that as well, but I think I just really enjoy using my voice to tell you a story. On one side, she's like a holy sweet angel that's really cute, and other on the other side, she's a big bad wolf. It's like a hot demon. Hey, you gotta have a bit of both, right, Kira? A little bit of hot and cold. Sweet and sour. <laughs> Sweet and spicy. Yes, I will be back here tomorrow, but I will be playing some Lost Ark. There are new cute bikinis that I need to dress my character up in, in Lost Ark. So I will be showing off all my new cute costumes. And I look forward to seeing you all again. I promise you I will do this at least once a week until I get more comfortable with it. So ASMR every week, promise. Oni Jin, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Welcome to the wolf family, Oni Jin. Sour Pat's wolf. Sour Sweet Fox. So I'm like both. 
Hey. I'm a sweet and sour wolf. Sour pets, kid. Okay. <laughs> um. Who knows? If I'm feeling up to it, maybe I'll do more ASMR this week. I'm gonna see how I feel this Friday. Oh wait, I wanna play more Elden Ring. We're gonna be doing more Elden Ring actually this Friday. I forgot. I have to finish Elden Ring. I'm very close to finishing Elden Ring. So we will finish Elden Ring together. Tat. I should finish it this Friday. I should. I hope. <laughs> But, you know what? I am going to send you all the, um, ASMR streamers I'm usually familiar with are an honor right now. So I think... I will... <laughs> one ring to Elden all. <laughs> I can't wait to finally finish it, Theek. I just, I needed to finish it and I promised Chad I would finish it on stream. And then we can play the cat game. I'll be a kitty. Everybody's playing the cat game but me. I won't play the cat game. So bad. The cat game. Thank you, Bear. I hope to see you tomorrow as well. Oh, kid, oh yeah. I was actually thinking of raiding Marshy or Starzors. Stars or is, is is streaming the cat game right now? <gasps> Soku, you just spelled cat two different ways. Clearly. Cat with a K span stands for something else, okay? Let's see. The quarry. Marshy is playing the quarry. That's a that's a horror game, isn't it? Mm. Color has two spellings, so cat can too. Color has two spellings. What do you mean color has two spellings? How? How does color have two spellings? Oh. Well, I... 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 <sighs> that still doesn't... It still doesn't count. Still doesn't count. Okay? Doesn't count. It doesn't. <laughs> Kid cat. Uh, yeah, but that's still not a kitty cat. Even if you do kitty cat, it's it's cat with a C. Gray does have two spellings, but <sighs> so good. I'm too. I can't. I can't. My brain is dying. Okay, my brain is dying. Is dying on me. Kitty cat. But you say you do kitty cat. Cat with a C though. Not not with a K. Not with a K. Hmm. 
Gray versus Gray. Alright. Let's give Marcy a big raid, shall we? Everyone. Marcy is going to be collabing with me on Saturday. We play a lot of games together, her and I, as well as with the awesome king, Annie Drew, Zeno, and Arya, our other queen. So we will be playing more games with them this Saturday. But Marcy is streaming the quarry right now. She is using a heart monitor. So let's see if she actually survives. <laughs> um, let's give her a nice, fun wolf raid, right, Chad? We're giving her a wolf raid, not, not a fox raid. Say it with me now. Wolf raid. Wolf. <laughs> God damn it, so good. You all have really been amazing to me. So just know that I appreciate all of you for coming to spend the time with me. Thank you so, so much. Okay? Thank you so very, very much. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>